and in perfect Leviathan style as well. This is the comp that they brought into LCQ too. So let's see how much change we get throughout this series. And look at this immediate B pressure coming in from the Vietnam, who's starting on defense. The Prowler, they take it down, control everything, put nice. deep alarm bot. Yeah. And I like this from Cloud9, trying to punish that. Actually forces Taco by himself. Wait, Leaf, Leaf went through. Leaf went through the rotating door. Now they're going to want to fight for mid. Just that trade could have been a lot worse there for the Vietnam. The fact that Taco gets one is super important. They're not following this Trailblazer right now. Still wondering what's on the rest of that site. Is there any traps? Are there the mollies? Did we clear everything out? And instead they walk through. Oh, it sounded like they made noise too. So they should know that C is the hit. Tap on the spike. Leaf is already in such a forward position. As soon as smoke goes down, a couple of kills are exchanged in favor of Cloud9 though. Oh, and it's only getting better. Can't use that yet. That's falling off there. That was such a good call twice there. You went for contact on Cloud9. And both audibles that they called in this round were perfect. The first one to, to trap Takalia inside of B main there, and then the second one to catch this spawn push unaware. So nice. Yeah, you're already seeing a lot of fluidity, a lot of like game time decision making, adjustments on the fly that are netting them some success. I'm super curious if both of those ideas were protocol or if it was something that they're calling on the fly. To me, it looked like protocol, the fact that they walked through that orb or that smoke at the beginning of the round together there. Zelsus and Rooney. And that's a pistol for Cloud9, something that MCE talked about was lacking for them in that series against crew that they lost earlier in the week. They started off strong in that series as well, though. On Ascent, they stomped crew out. It was only the next two maps where things went bad. This is what I'm talking about. Both Zelsus yeah. and Rooney, they're walking through at the same time. It's very, very nicely handled. The secondary push too, where they trailblazer all the way up. They push him into spawn behind the smoke. So he can't confirm the information is so key from Cloud9. And again, super well played. It seems like they're, they're expecting some aggression from Nathan here. See how slow they are to getting out of spawn. Maybe it isn't pacey, but they do seem intent on taking some A main control. And funny enough, they've been farming orbs for Taco on defense, which it's not something that you're used to seeing. And they're going to actually push through this Viper wall here in a second. Wait for the fuel to come down. Maybe here it comes. Everyone is just so closely pitched up. You see it. That I mean, nade? with the haunt there, maybe time we're able to get two though, and that date from Leaf was gorgeous. Got a second one, forces again. Mazina will be by himself there, the rest of his team can't join him. Do they commit to trying to get out on B? There are two remaining members of Leviathan here that quickly turns into one. He falls as well, that's the second round going in favor of Cloud9. Yeah, but despite the success that you're having there, with the nade, with the first engagements there inside of B main as Leviathan comes through. Yes, they get the first kill, but everything else after that felt like it went Cloud9's way. It actually didn't. They lost three guns. And you're actually getting a canceled bonus here from Cloud9. They're investing two rifles into this one. Two players are not going to be able to buy up in the next. King a deep orb lineup for C while he's playing on that B side. So he can help cover up. You just saw it land right there in front of Shy. This is now the second round that they try to creep out towards C. There are two nanos just beneath them. Once they clear the first, that's a Q. Wow. The flash up top and Shy has to get the space back. And I don't think Leviathan was expecting that deep Viper Orb. It was yeah. so deep in. They're allowed to pop way, way further into the site than you normally are. The Prowler just split a couple members of Cloud9 without uh, without latching on anyone. And once again, you're seeing this, like, Cloud9 putting deep utility out. That Nano up towards C, and they're going to creep their way around it. Surely you can't go contact in another time. I mean, they've done it so many times, and it's gotten them this far. Still no spike plant. Oh, that looked rough. Shy getting the best of Leaf. Spike planted. Spike finally going down. Numbers in favor of the defense. And normally this would be a situation where Leviathan, if they were down in numbers in this case, if Cloud9 was successful, they'd be off saving. Instead now, they're gonna go for this 4v3 retake. Paranoia to make sure there's no one playing up close. But they still have to wait for this utility 
before they can make a move forward. And Rooney and Jake are there to greet on the other side. Falls down to a 1v, 1v2. Rooney's so weak. Zelsus isn't much better off. This is winnable. Mazzino just has to make a play here, and it's got to be fast. Oh, That's no, a play. The, another one right beneath them. They're wrapping right around each other, but he right turns around. Silence. It's just the wrong time. You're right. There was just not enough left on the clock to pull that off. Cloud9 get the third. And consider the fact that Cloud9 waited for so long to put that plant down. Leviathan was literally wrapping around the site with five players up, and they still were not planning. They allowed the rotation to come all the way through, and it's because of things like this. They're really trying to eat into these retakes before they can strike. Yeah. And that's not a strategy that's going to be consistent as time goes on, because Leviathan will keep their guns out, will not get ready for the retake until they can clear out the space close to them. But it is a nice idea to come up with a bonus win like that. Leviathan buying up a couple stingers here. They're going to push B again. Maybe with a flash if there's contact. And Cloud9 want none of it. For the first time, they're going to approach this A side, and it's dry to see if they're pushing up towards Rubble or anything like that. Is there going to be aggression here with the Fade Rays? No? All right, we'll take the space. You wonder if they pivot back too. Given some of Rooney's utility, including the warp that's towards C. I mean, wow. Both teams are playing incredibly scared, is what I would say so far about this game. Cloud9 again, they got information here. They peeked all the way up in this A side. It's only now that they're pushing up. And still, they're not going through. It's only Leaf on the site. He might get trapped up. They're pivoting back into this B side. This is the first time they're actually going to hit it without any Leviathan players. Being able to get this information early, so the plant will come down faster. Shy is going to be the first on the scene, but he's kept back by the Viper Wall. Going to have to rotate around and try to approach the site from a different area. You already see the Astro Star starting to go down, courtesy of Jake, to deny any entry. And there's really not much here. I mean, Taco has his ult. But Nasra doesn't have any utility to really set him up, to really get him going. And that wall is just so good against any B retakes. Got to make an attempt here for Lev, but not going to find anything. And it is important that they keep trying to jump down at that Econ for Cloud9 as they go up to four. But I'm I'm a little concerned here. As the first four rounds, I'm seeing Leviathan continue to deal with the same game plan. That's twice now that they push down B on the Eco round. And twice now that it's not garnered anything. Now we finally do have Taco's ult, but it's met with a couple from Cloud9 too. And you also have for this gun round, that extra Astro Wall as well. So you don't have to fully rely on just the smokes and the Viper Wall too. Early Trailblazer clears a lot, but they're regrouping again. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Prowler here if it contacts to see Taco send it. That's two guns that have been fired, and there it is. There's a showstopper. The flash. Taco was just on the other side. Zelsus gets cleaned up. That's a really nice play based off of what we've seen in the last couple. That's the sort of pick you want to go for. Rather than fully over committing yourself. And you're seeing the same type of response that we saw on Pistol from Cloud9, just not able to catch anybody in this case. They've done such a good job around playing through Rooney's utility. Ooh, the alarm bot's down right now. No, it's oh. no. Taco, hey. actually. Just as the wall goes up, he finds the timing to spray. Jake just tapped. It was just a threat. The second time is much more committed. And with the nade in his lap, he's got to reposition. There's really nobody to cover King's approach here. He can creep his way forward, but instead he's waiting. Choosing not to venture out onto the site while Leaf takes plenty of space back behind him. Note, he has ult here. Jake has his ult too. But they're so close to each other. Rune is in such a good spot, but it's going to one for one. Leaving Leaf in a 1v3 and he cannot convert. There's the advantage garnered by Leviathan there. Taco being aggressive and then them falling into passive positions. Getting extra value out of that too. While spraying safely. But you've got to love that little trap there. At least the way that Taco's able to pounce off that Prowler's information. And remember, Taco had slow starts in the past. Today, absolutely not. 
Four first kills already in five rounds. Very reminiscent of what we saw the last time we saw Lady Tan play. They did a really good job of using utility to set up their duelists, to take aggressive angles and to make plays. Something that was lacking the majority of the season. And this is unfortunate though. There's three ults now online for Cloud9. Still Taco finds the kill though. Off of the haunt. That's so well done. And they had the Prowler or the Prowler and Paranoia to fall back on. Cloud9 in trouble. And this is super important because this is a huge round here. Leviathan's economy will get completely reset and Cloud9 might end up going up to six if they just win this one. And they have many ults to actually challenge. Very strong ones in that. And the fact that they've denied this C space completely forces Zelsus to reconsider and Cloud9 to reconsider as well. I like this fake pressure going on by Jake though, on, which might down. pinch Mazzino. He's gonna play up into the smoke, isn't he? Clearing the turret too. They've already drawn three members from Leviathan over towards A. How much more do they invest? A second tap of the door, but nobody's moving. Meanwhile, Mazino's swinging back out, and surely at this point they understand it's all a ruse. It's a great way to even things up. They are going to spend the lockdown. Earlier in the game, you might have seen them actually just go through, but they don't have that trailblazer to follow up and see exactly what's on site. Is there going to be a nade? There's going to be a nade! Here comes Taco! No. Seize. That's the seize. Jake is about to get. Oh, he turned on Shy! He invests the, the wall and turns around, takes care of the lurk, and they get the pimp control on C. Now he's in a position to where he can hit a late flank through spawn and blow the round up. Look at this position though from Taco. You're absolutely right about Jake. He's coming through spawn, but Taco has advantage on top. He can't see in the pit though. And there's a great pit out here. Rooney can just stay outside mound. And the benefit nobody is that nobody can see him either. So while he's dissuaded, he's incapable of taking anyone down with him. He should be safe. Jake, what? He had six HP. Safe, but can he es escape here? <laughs> is this Absolutely the not. Way too much to look at. And that's what I was talking about. This is a tough round here for Leviathan to lose because it's a reset economically. They go back down to that 1.9K from losing this one. So the, the buy is gonna be really tough. And again, they did get success here, but they hold on a little bit too long to the C mount. And Cloud9 does a great job bringing the pressure towards A so that they rotate and leave Mazzino isolated. <laughs> and you saw the double ult cascade there. That lockdown into the Viper's pit is so difficult to deal with. Taco might be playing insane right now, but the strategy from Cloud9 is completely nullifying that explosiveness from him. Zeppo grabbing that orb there, gets the Seekers on mine. Lagging a little bit behind on this hit towards C. Meanwhile, Leviathan intent on pushing A. And there is some help here, courtesy of Zelsus. He's able to cover the flank, give some room for his teammate to breathe. Cloud9 are just doing such a, gob a good job of remaining fluid. They're not really committing to either which side. They're just waiting to feel the push and pull of the map, how the round is going, and what Leviathan are showing them and then being opportunistic and advantageous on the other side of that. Oh. Well done by Mizino. I'm still loving the gusto though from Leviathan. The fact that they're still going for kills after their initial plans fail is not something that we are normally used to seeing from Leviathan. And look at this, Shai's getting really deep, almost goes down drop, and they've got advantage here. That's huge. He should be able to upgrade a weapon. Healing over here. Tough to pick up though when they're watching the cross. Yeah, Zeppa is one HP. Celsus is, for all intents and purposes, here alone. Unless Zeppa can pull off something insane. There's still not that much util anymore here from Leviathan. And they don't have really guns. I mean, they've got two singers and what the sheriff. What they're doing is just waiting for that killjoy turret to find something. Well done by Celsus, finding the right timing to take down Osler. King upgraded the weapon, and it's the last one that remains. King in a 1v2. He was so good in his previous series, but. He doesn't just have to deal with Zeppin Zelsus right now. He's got the clap that's not on his side either. 6-1 for Cloud9. This has been a snowball. As a unit, okay? Cloud9 Last surprisingly have only won one up. of those gun rounds. Outside of that bonus conversion, which definitely they invested into. So you could, you could also count that. But everything else has been anti-ecos, pistols. Those sorts of things. And they've gotten close here for Leviathan. They're just not able to bring it through. And in this round, you could clearly see the deficiency 
as it falls down to some of that utility missing there, they didn't have anything else to take initiative. This is initiative, though. Odin spam and a bit as well to completely contain this A site. Think about what Jake was doing in the prior round where he was bringing a lot of pressure. That's not available anymore. And Cloud9, let's see if they just go straight for the jugular elsewhere. Do they dare tap the door? Do they push out towards B? You see his satchel out. And two members of the have already fallen. That's massive there. Yeah. Out from Leaf. Whatever you saw off of that trailblazer, I heard it from the stage. Hit, 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 hit. They weren't planning on doing it, but he was very happy with what he saw. Instantly satchels in. At this point, then it's such a deficit in the round, even with the utility that they have, it's going to be so difficult to work their way in. And there are layers to this. Elsus is still playing pretty far back. He still has two nanos. There's a lot of safety to this round for Cloud9. Even with that, the 3v2 shy flashed. Has to take a step back. Jake is once again on a vintage Jake flank, finding just the right timing, spotting the last. Nasra has to tuck. He's got to run away to try to save this weapon, and it seems like Cloud9 want to hunt. And they're gaining confidence here. I mean, they've got him surrounded. They've got him surrounded. Oh. How does he survive both? Even that, though, it's not the biggest punch into Cloud9 there. No, no, it's just more about Nasra being able to save his. Right, 100%. And I'm saying they're gaining confidence here because you're seeing Rooney make plays like walk into his Viper Orb that he's not sure is clear. Yeah. There's a Prowler on the other side, so he's going to get cleared out when they go for the Execute, but he's dropping it right as the timing is perfect for him. That's when it starts really taking effect. Maybe the timeout is enough for them to stabilize and try to right the ship. You got the right. Fade Rays over here. It's been all Cloud9. There's a Paranoia, there's a Seize, there's a Nade. Well, that's a really interesting position to throw it, given that there's no Omen on this side. And Leaf hasn't really gone for a Satchel across too often. Yeah, and Mizino has been very consistent in taking this space. We've seen them post him up here a couple of times, but you're, you're right, there hasn't been a ton. I just love this, getting in front of the wall right now so he can actually play with this one way, which he just refreshed, by the way. Yeah, there's still plenty of time on this. Will eventually have to fall back, but they're going through dry. And Tacos, when he gets a kill, he ults. He's going to spot another, and he cleans him up. Rooney's down. Too. It keeps Jake isolated right now. Can they actually use this time oh. to take him down? I wasn't sure if they knew where he was, but the swing up from Taco confirms the suspicions. But the kills Spike get traded back and a. forth, leaving Zelsus alone. A 1v3, a rifle in the hands of Nas for two. Coming back. And he's not far off. That's a fantastic read there from Leviathan. Celsus has to make a play. He's got to isolate this 1v1, and he got what he wanted, but it was still too much. Right out of the timeout. That used to be places where you would fear owner getting involved in the conversation, and there's an example of why that used to be the case. Can he find that form again in LCQ? And you can tell, I mean, they went for a denial on the A side. And that's not necessarily even because they're really expecting Cloud9 to go for some crazy thing, but they do, you know, prevent that so that their secondary follow-up can be good. And that's now twice where they've had such a good plan for Taco's ult. And you can see why earlier on, you're putting a lot of emphasis on getting him some of those defensive side orbs, which again, Destroy. B control here, this smoke again, Taco's gonna get the orb up one more time. No, that's Tornar Nosworer. Now has the Nightfall to play with, so they get the orb, they get the alarm bot down, and they give the space right back. They just retreat, reset around the rest of the map. You want to hear how froggy King decides to get? You see what the setup was? That's so pretty! Playing in the orb, expecting the haunt to tag, and then being able to spam from it. And this is where things can get scary if you're Cloud9 against this Liviathan squad. When their prep is working like that, it's very difficult to try to counteract, especially when it comes to getting first kills, which Leviathan has been dominating on, by the way. Hey, even look at the guns that they have right now. King is the only one with a phantom, the only one who could have safely made a spam play from that position. This is just so well considered. That ults. Mazino's going for info. Could have been dangerous because he didn't spot Jake inside of the smoke, but. 30 seconds left. That nightfall comes through. 
Doesn't spot anybody. Now they spot two because of Taco Jiggle peeking on stairs here. Uh, I wonder at what point Leviathan yeah. starts to realize that once they find Jake, they know that the hit is more likely than not elsewhere on the map. Perhaps they start getting a jump on these, but either way, Cloud9 committed to having some presence A, but the spike is C, and it's there by itself. Yeah, and you're hoping that those two players could have gotten something done, yeah. but yeah, I mean, QB sneak has <laughs> just been pulled. They're asking his team. They're asking Celsus for a 1v5 here, is what Cloud9 just did. What a position, too. It's a complete one and done. And he might just get one, actually, and he might be able to get a lockdown on the spike. Oh! There's still just so much to do. I, I want to believe and I want to get excited, but he's so far from it. Mazino's just going to stick the defuse. Yeah. There's nothing that Zelsus could do to challenge it back. <laughs> there was a chance there. I'm curious if he had actually planted a little closer to himself. If he gets just a, a, a completely free lockdown there, he has to cross all the way across to put that down. And obviously, with the pressure on the defuse, way too much. There was actually a chance there. I wasn't <laughs> expecting one to actually present itself at all, but either way, Leviathan gets to three, and they're really needing the next couple here. Yeah. And Cloud9 have four ults to work with. Leaf is not too far off from his. He's had a quiet, a quiet game so far. And you see how they, they are prioritizing getting the mid or from Leviathan. So it's not just getting Leaf one step closer to having the showstopper, but denying Leviathan the resource that they've so heavily invested to throughout this half. Well, in this case, Leviathan doesn't have any ults left to really cascade up, except maybe Mazinos, and that's not going to find that much use. So you completely fall off of the idea of getting these orbs, but you're right, it gives up that resource to Cloud9, who just got two orbs for Leaf to go crazy with. Well, will he go crazy? Oh. Oh. 61 HP. The guy was melted. They invest the Seekers, the Showstopper, and the Cosmic Divide, and the Pit. They thrown almost everything they have at this round. Zelsis is all is the one thing that has not been invested. And normally you're able to use the lockdown to get yourself in position for this Pit. This time they use everything else. And there it is, the final part. It's so, it's so nice. They have. The lockdown to counter the other lockdown, and there's even an aid going in too to cancel Leviathan's. Mazinos. Okay, he's he's got to be careful here. Oh. Yeah, he got detained. He's not he's not under threat. There's no time anymore here to get through this pit. Yeah. There's no resources either. Now, we're still has actually a prowler, but I think this is going to be. It has to be explosive. It has to be now. They're saving. Yeah. It's only King who has 5.7 who's staying around. And remember, this would have been a reset, so. Some players here would be losing the opportunity to buy in the next, and they might even do a lot more damage than just that. No, the three players who might not have a chance next round to get something up are Last safe on that A side. And that brings us to the very last round of this opening half of this best of five. Again, lower finals, crew waiting on the other side with one spot left up for grabs at champs. It'll be the last spot, too. Pacific will be done. EMEA, we already know the two LCQ qualifiers. And that leaves all eyes on us. All eyes on these two teams to see who gets to qualify, who gets to dance with crew for the big one. It's interesting, through all of that previous round, Kings, and he would have to get every single orb or one, two, and a kill to have his pit online. And you need, when the Viper, you need something that com comes up really early so you can actually consider the strat. You yeah. saw it earlier. Oh, uh, you're right. Whoa, Zelsus. There's a double peek attempt there from Zelsus and Jake. You've been seeing that. One of them working through the orb while the other takes down the turret. Toxins going up. But he gets punished this time by Shy. I mean, they almost got punished by both of them falling. Zelsus was down to 61 HP. He's got healed up by Zeppa, but oh. Cloud9 are falling apart here. And look at this Cloud9 as well. Have to trailblazer through the one way from Mazino, who's been doing such a fantastic job at keeping mound control. They do leave him alone, but right now he has a flash too. So much delay. Yeah, he's been very good here. Him being alone might not matter. And now Taco's shown up. Mazino's already gotten the first three bullets to get the second. Make that two. <laughs> Ultimately falls, and once again, Zelsus in a 1v impossible. 30 seconds left. These sites open right now. 
Will they find that opportunity? King is coming back just in time to deny the plant potentially. No armor, 91 HP. Remember, he was the one who was beaten and pattered at the opening of the round. Nosworn and Shy even have a high low here. <laughs> yeah, that wraps. So well considered. I mean, a good recovery here from Leviathan. They were Switching winning a lot sides. of these first engagements, which I thought gave them a lot of advantages. But Cloud9 strategically was winning these battles. And then as well, just getting the cascade of really important key swing rounds, making it impossible for them to really get into the game. And they've done it anyways. So an 8-4 half is definitely very doable here for Livia Dunn. It was really off of the owner timeout, right? They'd seen loss and they seemed a little discombobulated, but off that timeout, they put together a couple of rounds and get them to a 4-8 half. Cloud9 still up. Golden Boy, what do you make of the first nine on their map pick? Pearl on the other side, which has plenty of history on its own. And we'll talk about that when we get there. But for now, really the onus on Leviathan Ball to, to get this pistol and to start some momentum on this attacking side on Lotus. Absolutely. I think they get it, did a great job getting Taco involved in some of those first engagements, but it started to falter when Cloud9 threw some of these curveballs at them. Now that Liviathan is in the driving seat in terms of giving information and trying to push on these sites, they might take the pace up a notch completely. You see Zeus is having to run away to try to preserve life. Rooney's there with him, and the rotations from the defense are starting to arrive already. Yeah, they just used a lot of their initiation power there, though. Mazzino used his paranoia through. And he actually puts a smoke on top of the site, too. So once this orb goes down, they might have a way to just walk through. The line bot's deep, though. Remember how much value Cloud9 found on contact plays onto the site just like this. And they am trying to do a bit of the same, giving the taste of their own medicine. Zels is having to reposition and stay alive and does. They actually miscommunicated where they wanted to throw that season eight. That could have caught the pillar there. But both the utils went in different spots. Look at how close they are up. The sky flash is so high, and they all swing out at the same time, but it's hit for tat. 3v2 now in favor of Cloud9. Zels this week. Shy on the swing. The first shot not landing. Second one doesn't either. Meanwhile, Nog was not missing. He tried making that rage. He's playing. He got dangerously close. So that's another out for Cloud9. It's very important that situation stabilized from them because they started running it down when it became a 3v1. We've seen many mistakes be made just like that on crucial rounds like the pistol. It'll cause an explosion backstage of rage. Spike down, right now, though, Leviathan needed that to get back into this easily. They've made it hard for themselves now. And you could think just a little execute difference, and that could have been a massive, massive win for them. Instead, now look at this. They're buying up full sheriffs, even on the characters who won't have you till next round just to potentially get spam damage on this A side right now. You hear the shots being fired off. Spike's not even in tow currently. But they've crept pretty far up towards A main. There. You see the Prowler from Zeppa so that Rooney can take some of the space back. They've done just try to use the gap of smoke timings there to try to find a kill on Leaf. They didn't get it, though. No damage found at all. Rooney up close. Famous Cloud9 stinger buys up here, too, on here. their anti-eco. Which, again, Sheriff seems like a good proposition, but can also be quite dangerous if you start giving up some of those stingers in close range engagements. You threw all of this in the 30 seconds left in the round, they haven't taken any damage. Seconds left. And this is where the gun difference at Cloud9 have proves to be even more and more powerful and more and more difficult for Leviathan to have to navigate. And Leviathan need a plant here. They absolutely need a plant. I, I, I don't think they're gonna get that even. One enemy remaining. I, that, I mean, that might've put him, that might've put him away. After all of that, you mentioned it was like a minute of working the map and getting a lot of space from Cloud9. They got all the way up B Heaven before they really took a real engagement there. And they should have had a plan because they had all that space. Yep. But instead, it's late, labored. And now they're going to be relying on a lot of people with no util here. Shy, no nano swarms. King, no mollies. Post plants out the window entirely. They still get the light armor vandal, though. So it's a dangerous situation still. 
But Cloud9 won that bonus in the first half. If they do it again here, the game is over. Look at how much help they already have, Cloud9 do with the revolving door. Zep is there with a the flash, pushing them back. And they're so intent on drawing a line in the sand here for Cloud9. Not only do they invest the flash and tap the door, but they drop multiple stars to keep them back. And it looked like they were trying to commit into that. But Jake was a little late, and they end up canceling anyway, so he recalls the stars. Leviathan uses a lot, though, to get back through that nade. Paranoia. Again, a prowler as well. Taco gets up an orb. And it does pull the rotates here. This is where Cloud9 is in uncomfortable territory given their last comp. The Neon was able to get so fast over towards C and back to A if they needed to. Yes. It could cover up the gaps of over rotation. And right now they have. It's just Zelsus alone here. That's such a good point. You can see he has a couple things considered though. The Nana with the door to buy some time. He's going to push into it. Boy, he wanted to go. May have been for the best that he left. didn't fit. But the second time through, the spam cleans him up. The thing is, the spike is still not out. Zelsus has done a good job to delay because the members of Cloud9 are already here. This orb is falling. King's in a weird position. Leaf is out backside. They've already got two. Leviathan have. They're going to get them all. They do. A great response from Leviathan at just the right time. And Cloud9 had an opportunity there. If that call was slightly later and they got the timing right on that C mound crunch, that could have been devastating for the state of the game. Instead, Leviathan uses really good misdirection. And they hold on strongly. Look at this position from King. This is what I was saying. It's precarious, sure. But it's also a nasty off angle. You never expect somebody right behind the smoke there on that box. Exact same setup for Mayathan, or at least pretty freaking similar to it, the Haunt, and then they try to take the spade towards C-Mount. But this time, there's no Cloud9 presence at door. Taco's going, he's going in aggressively. He spotted Rooney, but he somehow made it to dodge the ult. Zelsus is here to help. How is Rooney still alive? They're trying to spam him down. He hasn't taken a single bit of damage. He literally walked into Jake's own grab ball, and here's the flank from Leaf. They still got more here, though. Zep is here to cross with Jake. Oh, and it goes the wrong way. They have no idea Jake is here. Do they consider it? How patient is Jake? He swings out at the right time. Cleans up two, expecting a third. Shy is just so weak, but he doesn't have time to really think this one through. He's got to swing out and challenge, take the fight. But Zeno did not help him. Zeppa gets them both. And look how quick the Cloud9 players there are to join up against yeah. each other, too. Zeppa takes that Prowler contact, makes a lot of noise for Jake. That's a bait setup. Jake rakes in the two kills. And then instantly, Zeppa is joining right behind him, hip to hip. They know there's no flashes in this comp other than Mazzino. And they're happy to stand in an angle like that to collect the last two. Beautiful stuff. This moment right here, Zappa getting in this position with Jake is something that I highly commend. The fact that he's able to do that within the three seconds since Jake's kills. We're going into this one fast and for good reason too. Everyone's already here. It's just Rooney who's on the opposite side of the map and through the flashes, through the squalls, they then walk away with two. They invest in Nightfall too and they're going to get on to A. And Rooney did get here in time to really understand what's going on. Despite everybody falling away from B, deafened up there. Dude, this is what I'm talking about, man. King is just so bold. It's been a quiet game from him. Up to this point, but as the Leviathan players start to heat up, you definitely look towards King in every single one of his games so far, in every single one of his series. He's had a massive monster game. He had almost 300 ACS when they were getting stomped against Crew. Moments against Sentinels as well. Probably one of the most consistent IGLs in terms of individual level as well. He's gonna have to do so much more though. If they want to take this Lotus map. It's interesting here, Rooney has normally been by himself towards C, but there's a lot of help this time. Trying to punish an orb pickup here. Is what's going on with the flash through. Great movement. Excellent movement. All it does is buy some time, though. It delays. Mazzino's there, though, from the back, providing cover. Yeah. And Rooney full blind has no way to escape this situation. The paranoia and then the prowler in his face.
And I am loving as well Mazzino's extra smoke that he's throwing before actually engaging into this on top of C so that nobody can actually assist from range. And with this turret not spotting anything right now, they have information to cross back. Zelsus does get the info too, so Leaf will be here. And you're wondering what follows. Cloud9 love to invest ults into eco rounds just like this, but in a 2v4, you're definitely not expecting it. He has two satchels. But one kill, that's all it takes for him to spring. There it is. Uh, he popped it! He popped it! <gasps> Nade back up! It's a 1v2. Oh, he tried going for the gun. He was just so weak. And imagine that situation too. Shy is weak. He's isolated from Nosworth. Yeah. That yep. stinger's instantly making mincemeat of him. And then you pick up the Vandal and you can take a 1v1. That is just crazy. But they've wasted key pieces. It's been one of the reasons why some of these games have gone completely out of reach for Cloud9. Some of the maps as well has been their insistence on investing important pieces of utility in the form of ultimates. And it might let Leviathan back into this game too. Those sort of power ults are ones that you want to keep to get towards those key rounds, and you were deep into this. Everybody on the other side of this wall, what is Taco? Right through it. As a couple of members fall, both teams reset. They take a step back, and there's a Killjoy fight across B. Going in favor of Zelsis. They invest the Seekers, too. Cloud9. Oh, he's stuck, he's stuck. And on drawing a line in this, ha in this map, really, off of this round. Okay, but then with very few options here. Tough position to be in. Yeah. And against the Leaf, he's still fully kitted and completely understanding what's going on. Look at this reclave that they're calling right now. They're going to be way faster into that B link than you expect to. Oh. They're committing to this. Maybe they have to win this round. They're holding on. They've Both got them going up heaven right now. That's. Oh my gosh, they've already gotten two. Rooney's gonna get spotted by one. Leaf is the only one who hasn't been detected, and he gets king. That's the pit down. That's all of it. Rooney saves it. Holy smokes, that was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. Yo. That was insanely tight there. Cloud9 up to match point, though, and match it's point. off of a fantastic round from the players holding on A. But it's also Leviathan trying to force through that wall. Taco had a little bit of initiative there by himself. Went completely against three people on the other side of that wall because he was trying to punish and tunnel vision. He still got that kill. But because of that, Leviathan had to try to save him. And they lost two more for it. Let's flush them out. Potentially final round here, Cloud9. Have the ability to close out this map. With two big ults on defense, too. And Zelsus is locked down, and then Jake's Cosmic Divide. So they have some serious tools. Just gotta be able to convert. Is that gonna clear out any of the utility that's set up by Zelsus? No, I don't think it will. So good from Zelsus to reposition it here, yeah. too, because Leviathan has been doing a, a great job getting up close on C. So that Molly's intended to clear out Salsus's Molly's so that they can go for a double satchel play in. Instead, they have no information on what's happened. And there's still two Molly's up on site to deny this plant completely on the site. Taco might still commit to this. He just got his ult off of that orb and he says one satchel and there it is. That's the go and it's traded one for one. A commitment of the ult to get back site, but Zelsus is still alive. The utility is still at play here. It's still going to be really difficult to get through this. Uh, with this K KJ ult too, they're going to have to push it. There's only one player right now. The flash coming in from Zelsus. Oh, it's so good! The timing of that flash was good!
you navigate around it. They, different things like that. There aren't any wrinkles. They can approach this the way that they would like to, and we'll see how things play out. Cloud9 on the attacking side, up 1-0 in this best of five. Grand finals up for grabs as crew waits and watches. I'm really curious now. We saw Rays v. Rays on Lotus between Leaf and Taco. Now these two players are on jet. And they're trampling down towards B. There is some Killjoy utility here. The first Nano has already been popped. They have that turret up top too. And you can see the swap as well on this defensive Viper wall over towards A rather than this little spot right here. So they could use the orb instead, but it gives away from Carbine to get in there. Oh, oh, oh. He dashed right into him, slammed into Shy. And he cleans him up with the ghost. His pistols go all in favor Spike of Leviathan. B. And oh. immediately, I'm thinking that dash was not planned whatsoever from Leaf there. He needed a way to get through that Viper wall before it actually went down to maybe catch him by surprise, but you're dashing into a corner. That is very, very commonly played. And the interesting thing is he, he procced that dash well before he cleared both walls yeah. that he crossed. He crossed the harbor wall, he crossed the viper wall, and he had set that up beforehand, and it seemed like he was trying to go, how much further can I get before yeah. having to invest it? I think Leviathan needs to be scared, though. The fact that they're disrespecting that defensive orb already. Sure, yeah. Is something that I don't like to see as a defender. I mean, obviously you can take huge advantage of it, but you want to be able to take liberties away from that. And they are relying on this setup, right? This Viper wall across A main, Art, and B link as well, allows them to just use an orb on this spot instead. That's how this map changes affects this and King that shoulder peak there was a timing there that he missed the player crossing so he almost got punished for it does take a little bit of damage no armor 86 HP is gonna get healed back up big question right now yes taco is taking a lot of space but look at the alarm bot placement by shy it's so why, deep. why are there players playing in front of this in sewers right now eventually you can fall off of it as time ticks Nice little horseshoe set up. Walled off his team in art, though. Yeah, the utility's still on the other side of it. And now you see Nopper showing up. Does have a flash. They can pop through this if they want to take the fight, or they just spam and clean things up anyway. I'm curious if they left gaps on purpose there for Leaf to try to find shots through, and they will get the spike anyways. Oh, dealt some damage there. That was a ding. Shy with 20 HP, but Leaf is left alone. A great start for me then that's a very clean round oh once again i mean two flawless rounds in a row right pistol yeah no kills fine from cloud nine here again and you're starting to see the same sort of flawless. approach that cloud nine had on you that attack did. side lotus as well where like they would throw out their wall and then they would walk on the site slowly i think in this case walling off the player's art there i don't think that was intended by celsus and that might have slowed things down but if it is part of the game plan, eventually you need to start being able to seize that moment and be able to push out through your wall and punish players who are trying to spam like Shy. It's the same setup from the previous round defensively from Neviathan. They've got the wall, but they have the deep alarm bot and they're playing in front of it. I, I noticed Leviathan playing multi-stage setups on defense, yeah. on split in particular. In mid, they rely on that orb for so long. I'm thinking about a different map right now. Hold on, Taco. Oh. Big shot. Ooh, almost lands a second. But even moments like that, where you find a first kill, that allows you to fall into the deeper protocols and fall behind that alarm bot now in middle. So you hold on to it, and it's there in case. Going now we're watching all the Leviathan players rotate over to help Taco as he spotted an extra player. Cascade even coming to reinforce as that orb comes down. And the Trailblazer, yeah, they've invested a lot and a flash. And that flash is maybe eventually misinformation, but with that Trailblazer, it should still give them Money enough down. to guess that there's nobody. Seriously considering pushing up B. And the Jiggles just came through well, as the wall came down there from Jake, so you got a lot of information. That's why the rotate's coming in right now. Walls up. Always not broken here. No. 30 seconds, that's gonna be able to deny for quite a while. 
you're starting to see it. The clock's ticking away. Five seconds have passed. Now, I mean, just really over 20 seconds left before they even get to the point where they tap the spike and threaten it. Zeppa trying to cause problems for backside, but that's another round for Leviathan. And they flipped it completely. Think about how Lotus went. It was multiple rounds just like this for Cloud9. They convert the bonus and they go on a streak. Leviathan doing the exact same thing here on this defense side. And I know this is, I, I'm not even considering it, but in my yeah, head, in, in my time. head, I'm thinking, I'm my thinking goodness, yep. they almost got 13 0 on this map. Yep. Now, and it's looking rough so far. Very early, opposite sides as well, but you're right. That is something to consider. Here. King is at 8 and 0. Remember how much we highlighted him in the previous map with the outrageous series he had last time we saw him. Talk has been farming in these first engagements. Almost gets another one. Only one kill so far, but it was crucial in the last bonus. And you know the crazy thing is, is we'll, we'll talk about Taco a little bit more as Cloud9 are trying to make a play around the Reckoning. But it's a one for one again. The Stinger's proving to be worthy. But they need to control here. This is an eco round for Cloud9. There's no business winning this. And they've already given up a gun. Maybe two. Yeah, two rifles in the hands of Cloud9 here. And Leaf and Zelsis. And the spike planted. This is a difficult spot for Levitan to punch back from. They do have plenty of money, though. They can navigate this. Leaf flash, no armor. Oh, but that second flash is pretty shy still. What? And this is an odd situation now. The spike is not planted for these Cloud9 players. Yeah, but this this is taking too much time. So much time has elapsed. King, a one for one. Zels is weak. Is Shy going to find a window up here? Is he going to find the gap? Oh, he is! He's under enemy remaining. Oh, it doesn't check it. No, and I thought for a moment he saw it. Maybe he thought it was the barrel of the, of the turret or something. <laughs> Absolutely. When he first peeked yeah. over that wall. And they do finally respond with an eco round. Win. It's always the unexpected ones. We'll take a look at it one more time. You mentioned Taco and how good he's been in those openers. Found some value. But the stingers here in these up close and personal situations were too much. Yeah, wow. What a play by Zelsis. I mean, consider the fact that this is Pearl, right? This is Pearl, the map where it's super long range. You yeah. really don't expect Stingers to be able to get value that consistently, but Cloud9 finds it every time. Oh, interesting here. Approach from, from Cloud9. They've been putting the turret right outside of spawn, but they reposition it because they've been getting cleared out and then covered by the Cascade from Harbor. So they repositioned it. Now they have that for a little bit longer. Firing up the orbs as well. Here's Zeppa. As his Seekers. And the important part here is he has multiple layers now, too. He still has a Trailblazer. Curious whether they go down B-Long or just through B-Link. And they're going to find Taco with his op right now. Oh, you're trying to have Mazino there break the Trailblazer for him so that he can still get an op shot if they do decide to follow it up. Instead now, Zeppa falls down long to use his Seekers to try to take this engagement. Interesting. Oh my goodness! What a bold challenge! But King from backside still finding value. Mazino's not finding the same as Zeppa. It's just cracked the site wide open. Given the fact that Leviathan had lockdown here, I'm surprised to see them commit so many forces to holding on to the site here. It's interesting, too, to see Cloud9 having the bravado to challenge this, knowing that they had just seen Taco in, at Double Doors. They knew he was no. going to be close by. And they take the fight to Leviathan. And look, Nasr was all the way back in spawn here. He's going to rejoin the fight now that they've given up two kills. This is very doable. They planned it for them. Shy was the one who had a shot, who had a position of it. Nasr dancing around the pillar. He's gotten it down to a 1v1. But he's got to push Rooney, and he's got to do it fast. He's got to do it now. There's just not enough time. There's an op somewhere here. Yeah, he's looking for it. There he gets it. We'll give up the round, but pick up at least an op. And Taco can probably drop next round. So this might put Leviathan in a position where they end up forcing, despite not having great economy. Taco can drop one. Nasr can still buy up. That yeah. fight is just so bold from Leaf. I mean, the approach for Cloud9 is too, but for Leaf to be the one to just 
alpha taco in that situation it's interesting to see him have two faces in a sense right you remember back on pistol where he's diving into that smoke very strangely and then here he gets that shot it's nasty hold on updraft not gonna find anything it's completely irrelevant here when there's no op posted up on top of the box and nobody peeking art either but then you see him in that last round he dashed top screens and completely isolated himself for a fight against shy when he's not ready to actually take that engagement the duality of leaf he's got blades here too nothing found on the opening engagement that you mentioned but there certainly is a shot at it here king is playing down belong and an update on the economy situation by the way leviathan did not end up forcing they just light light bought but that light buy has some weight behind it absolutely does of presence mid from cloud nine seems like they're gonna split out on to a i suggest you move reckoning there and taco has to get the space up he was up first with the up he stays and lands a shot on the leaf right between his eyes this guy is so confident all of a sudden in lcq all three kills he has his first engagements hey where was this Sideshow asked us in the previous time that we saw them, where was this confidence? Oh, where was this play? He's got heat seeking bullets. My world. This guy's probably gonna find another in the pit. You talk about confidence and aggression, look at how he's digging his heels. Of course, Dax is back as I say the that. Is gonna get it. Oh, oh he stopped well, it! Player standing. And Shai's low HP! Out of the decay! It was to half though. It was to half! Shy snaps! What a shot! Cloud Nine! What has happened there? Taco with some incredible shots. Yes, the situation was not favoring them. Once these two shots come in from Taco, but they have the pit. And the kills come in from Rooney too. Once you once this happens, once he gets three right there. You think he's getting everything. Oh yeah, it, you would think the round is over. No. Yep. Ooh. And Shai continues to be a rock too. You see him waving across the stage? <laughs> Cold blooded. Up to round. Again, through the cascade. He is farming. He's been so strong in these moments all of a sudden. You know, the interesting thing is too, is it wasn't primarily him. In the previous series, yeah, he was more confident and more loose, but it was Mizino and King who got them across the finish line. But now it seems like Taco has awoken. Oh, shot almost goes down there to the spam. But again, Cloud9 never wanted to hit this site. They call a pivot again. They're about to find the alarm bot that's been there every round. I, I think he's just going to sit in sewers right now, wait for somebody else, maybe find a flank through Art as this B hit comes in. Wait for him to become active. He saw a ping on the minimap. I wonder if he hears it with how close he is. Got to be able to. Yeah, otherwise he might have committed yeah, already through. Yeah, he's going to find a timing. Oh. Not able to land the shot on the second. It seemed messy for a moment as Mizuno struggled to steady the crosshair. The Leaf on the swing. Oh, oh the kill of the king. Seekers pop too. These situations have not been really great for Cloud9 so far. They've been great on Lotus. But here, Leviathan has quite often been able to bring this back. Uh, Celsius with a great response there. Leviathan had a window, but the numbers that Cloud9 had were just too much. Jake on these flanks, on these lurks, has been really good so far in this series. If he's not at least getting a kill, he's providing so much pressure and safety for his players to play either a little bit more aggressive or based off of the information to play a little bit more passive. Right. And that resets Leviathan. I mean, every single time you, you see these one of the situations, Leviathan back down to Eco. But another bold play from Leviathan early on to take some space, get the orb in the hands of Nosler. I didn't make it back up. <laughs> Cheeky from him though. Yeah. To try to make it sound like he drops down. Instead floats back on top of the box. 
Could have been cool. You should be finding out just about now that this is where the hit's ending up. Shy should have been spotted, I believe. Yeah, they know where he is. He's done. Yeah, that trailblazer goes so deep. I'm down. And the Spike King getting one. Lockdown will keep everybody back. Taco Souls Blades. Team Flash. Think about how good he's been. He's gonna have oh. to be better. Oh, he ran right at him! Still cleans him up. How is this a 2v2? And they've isolated the fight here against Zeppa. And they have Seekers. They know where he is. They're gonna drop down on him. They're gonna surround him. They're gonna overwhelm him. And they're gonna drop him. Rooney left in the 1v2. One molly for him. Just popped. Full health, full armor, and a rifle, but none of the bullets are landing. They've all gone far left. He's gotten into half, and he only has three bullets left. He's gonna have to get them all like this, too. Oh, one! No more, but bullets. He's no more bullets! He's gonna switch to the classic, but he's so weak. Now's worth 12 HP. I don't think he can do this. I don't think he has it in him, but Rooney does. The Red Bull clutch to tie us at four. With three bullets. Three bullets for Cloud9's IGL, and they put him in a situation like this <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Not quite the same result, but here. I mean, you could tell. <laughs> that nerf coming in huge right there. It's specifically yeah. for moments like this against the Cove to give it a little bit more value, and it does force down. Maybe the situation's the devs intended. <laughs> Thank you, devs. That was much more exciting that way. <laughs> Op rattles off from Taco. So they find some of the presence of it. I and mean, once again, he's in a position where he can re-establish his presence. And they push into it. They dr almost drop him. Leaf is already so far up. He's playing on the other side of the cloud. The flash for him to swing out. And the and the reckoning, excuse me, to provide problems. That gun barrel's going to go first. Oh, oh no. dear. Yeah, yeah, I'd be confused too, Leaf. I've seen rounds like this from Leaf before. Oh, is he still alive? Mazzino finally puts an end to his antics. These rounds are pure chaos. Wouldn't have it any other way. Mazzino having to push forward because of the utility right into the lap of Zelsis, right into a one round lead for Cloud9. A 4 2 start from Liviathan. And multiple times they get into these situations that Cloud9 are light buying or eat going and still winning. And by the way, Zolsus has gotten three reckonings already. Three reckonings. And you can tell the pace that he's able to play at with the rest of the team after that. And Leaf is just absolutely happy and hungry to get into it. I mean, we're looking at classic Pearl being played right now on this attack. Leaf's actually spent his dash already. And Cloud9 was a bit more concerned with, the, I think, the presence of Taco. That cascade was much more shallow than you normally see. Leaf going up top, finding some space behind the wall. 19 HP, but he stands boldly in the face of the spam. Unfazed by the threat, unfazed by the damage. King only able to take one taco on the swing, gets another, and the Stingers once again causing problems. It was previously Cloud9's that secured around. This time it seems like it's maybe a Dunn's. A thrifty round win to tie us to five. I think everybody right now watching this game thinking, my goodness, the Stingers are back. Oh, don't say that. We thought, no, <laughs> and I'm watching it, and I'm 100% convinced right now. Leviathan, every single time they buy up like that, they're getting really close rounds. That Rooney clutch, that was a stinger round from Leviathan. Remember, King got isolated by himself, just took down one kill. Yeah. I thought it's like, okay, yeah, sure. But then again here, it's just back and forth for these guys. Cloud9 earlier with a stinger round of their own. Look, Look at, at that pit. pit. Covers up so much. Not only art, but also double doors. It's a wonky shape. It even provides room for them to creep out if they want to challenge mid. Plenty of pockets to play around. And also completely denies that lurk from Jake that I commended I'm earlier. But Leaf gets in position to flank the pit. And this is what I mean. That pocket where Jake's right is where he could be oh, in right now. Oh, oh no! The worst position to follow up from Leaf. Is that a... Spike planted. 
He's pushing into it. Jake is going into the pit. King drops it. There's the swing. He cleans him up. Numbers Cloud9. Jake weak though. Really felt the pressure there. That's why he drops the pit. He thinks they're coming back through art right now. Off in the hands of Taco. Shy on the swing, cleans up Rooney. Oh, this lockdown will push him so far out, and there's no way to break this right now. It's laid in the oh, back. He broke no it. way! It's just in the open. They don't expect Rooney. They still got this though. 3v1. Leviathan still managed to stabilize. Else is gonna have to pull off an insane moment, and he cannot. That lockdown is so ridiculously exposed there from Rooney, but it would force them so far back in art. I didn't even realize. Rooney was still playing in that position. Last it felt like everybody collapsed switch. on Art there. And Leviathan thought the exact same thing, but thankfully they're still able, like you said, to stabilize in that situation. This is yeah, weird. that's unlucky. He's man. following up on the secret right there. He's about to spam on his own. And he gets spammed first. Well, that gets us to the last round of the half. You see the op has been dropped back for shot. While well, Taco has one of his own, so they're oh, going to have a he's double in the position up time. here. Taco is definitely on top of that box. This double up trapped. He's yeah, not he's looking forward. He's that way. Yeah, he's been peeking towards Art, and he spots King. Oh, my goodness. I do have to point out as well, Celsus right now with his fourth reckoning of the half online. That's he's been outrageous. farming up these orbs like crazy. And it's provided value. It's been very successful. I love this high tide. It provides so much pressure towards B and towards Art. Remember, there's still a double off set up from Nathan. There's the reckoning that you were just calling for. They're gonna push right past them. Mazino's on the other side. Only gets one. Nas were not able to follow up on it. Look at how far up Taco is. He's right next to him. They're gonna pass right by each other. And Jake aware, cleans him up. The other off has been dropped too. Shy opting for the Vandal. Look at the buy for two members on Cloud9. They've got two Spectres. But they've managed to get this far. Leaf and Rooney both taking serious damage off of Spam. 15 HP between the both of them. There's been multiple moments here. Where a kill just escaped Shy. Leaf has picked up the op by the way down long too. He can play this from pretty far back. But he's also giving up support for his teammates. Two. There's a pocket behind the wall, but they know they're aware. Shy try cleaning him up. Jake's got One three. He's got the pit. Whoa, whoa. Can he play around it? He's going in aggressive with the Seekers, and Jake gets four. What is that? I'm thinking that pit's not even covering what is going on. Instead, he missed that really at first made me question whether this map is a good place to play for Cloud9, but. Do appreciate Telestrator from Coach Sean. And now the situations have flipped. Look at Cloud9 getting aggressive here, using this turret to at least communicate the timing of whether they need to fall off or even overcommit to the safe push. And maybe that's doing something interesting. Trailblazering up through and taking P-Link from the backside. Yeah, this is really nice too because they don't if they commit if they commit to B, the space that Cloud9 have taken in A main, it is worth nothing. Yeah. And they've actually inserted two players now inside of sewers. You got Mazino up here. And then Taco as well. All the way back. Down B-Link. And they're gonna be able to regroup. Cloud9 at the same time, they use that Trailblazer all the way through A, and they're pushing into Art, so this flank could come onto top of shit Shy immediately here. Yeah, he might be the one flanking with given Cloud9's pathing. And I like this from Nevitan. I like how they've approached this, but have they overdone it? I mean, right now their positions look like phenomenal post plant positions. No, Shy is a ghost. He's avoided the turret too. He's going to be able to get behind that. There's no way they're going to expect this as they come through all the positions that they feel like they've been in. As is the case with Iron, timing is everything. The turret was just recalled too, but it's a deeper alarm about towards Link. So now Cloud9 can focus on taking the site back. And that's exactly what they've done. Just one left on the site and it's King. See him dancing around trying to stay alive. A shy has to get pacey. He's got to push forward. He's got to find the timing. And he finds one looking for the second. It's slow. It's cautious. It's another round for Cloud9. And it's a different story than what we saw on Lotus, where we split pistols here on Pearl instead of going for a full sweep. 
makes this game a much more competitive. It's so interesting to see these teams inject this difference in approach where it's not full XX all the time. It's just slow walking with your controller util already going up. It's really putting question marks on the side of the, the defense. Leviathan, you're right though. That pistol, really, really, really overdone. Not necessarily to net them a disadvantage or anything like that, but. They're gonna do it again. They've taken a main, but this time they drop leaf. Is that through the wall? No, the wall was down. They have a one way here, but Jake's in a lot of pressure. If they were coming as well down B long right now, he would have nothing to play with. Trailblazer to reestablish position for Rooney to fill behind it. And note as well, they went for the same type of buy that they went for on Lotus, where everybody's buying up a sheriff here. It did not work at all on Lotus here. They've already got the advantage. There's really nothing from Cloud9 here to get some early info Placing swamp on what's time. going on. It's full dry here. They're going to walk right into Rooney. He has to be ready. Presence spotted. You see the controller utility go up. It's up on the swing from back in secret. Finding some more space. Calimitan make their way through. Haven't committed to the spike, though. There's just so much delay from Cloud9. Yeah, that high tide is well coming in from Zelsus. Cascade to block off Church gives so much room here for Zeppa to get up on top, but actually enough to kill for Shy instead, and they're going for a plan. They've succeeded. Taco is a marshal and a sheriff. See both of them playing here. Zeppa understanding that there's got to be a swing if they want to clean up. That's what they do. Two sheriffs left for Leviathan. Spike planted. Time is now on their side. Player standing. But Chai is not. Nas, we're gonna have to do this by himself. Oh. He's gotten it down to one. It's on Jake to swing. Nas who just gets a little antsy and swings out. Oh. Ever the showman is the big B as he secures the round for Cloud9. Gotta be careful here, man. This is the half you got 12 to hold on. I'm not gonna lie. I love it from him, though. And in this situation, I think Lev came out with a pretty big win here. Remember on Lotus, I said they must plant in this situation where they're buying up the sheriffs. This time they get the plant down and they also get infinite damage done. The thing is with Cloud9's anti-ecos, they're constantly buying stingers. They're constantly not fully investing into it. And it nests them the opportunity to do a buy like this, where they actually won the round, but they're kind of saving. Still, it's a save that packs a punch. Two Guardians, Frenzy, Sheriff, Stinger for Zelsus. There's one of the Guardians finding a kill, and there's the other. This aggro in mid. Leviathan tried to disrespect it because they left a spot open in shop, and it gets absolutely punished for that, for taking that space against them. Sean broke down literally at halftime around that Leviathan was doing similar things. What? I've got your trail. Slightly missed flash there from Zepp, a little too deep. Well handled by Taco 2 to play around it. And peek on the other side. It's a really good angle here. He's, oof, I thought he was gonna get another. There's the deep flash. That one connecting. A 1v2 for Nazwa. Remember, we saw him in a position like this a few moments ago. It's against Big Bean. This time, Zelsis and Leaf on the other side. Might be able to dive this cove. He's gotten ahead of it. He's gotten ahead of it, but the timing from Zelsis is beautiful. Not only the timing there, but as well, this cove to be literally right on the edge of where the spike defuse is happening. So he positions himself between the edge of that cove and the spike. So he's able to instantly pop out of it after he gets half. It's a perfect full charge forward. He can be the stabilizing, calm presence. He's so pivotal to the emotional makeup of this squad. If Cloud9 want to break through the struggles they've been having, when it comes down to playoff stages, granted, we've only seen one from them, but we've already seen them struggle again here in LCQ. It needs to be because of players like that consistently keeping a level head and getting everybody super involved. Again, the same pistol where they're able to insert players deep into sewers. Has been netting left some success.
But it's also something that Cloud9 is going to start responding to a little bit here. Lombard but I do down. like it as a way to really trap any player down and be Link. The passiveness, though, of the Cloud9 players. And Spawn Rooney almost gets punished. Yeah, but, I mean, he dealt a considerable punch back. Taco <sighs> has to get healed up. There's big response tools here from the Cloud9 side. As Elsus pops that high tide, we look to his reckoning as well. And wonder, Rooney, whether it'd be optimal to be falling off of sight here to play a full retake instead. This Cloud9 player is playing in positions where he's going to get this ult off with left. that reckoning as well at 30 seconds right now. That puts a scramble on the left side to run down towards this B side. And with that, Zelsus is running his way to join them. He's going to get ahead of the utility too. Oh, I thought for a moment he was going to find a window. Mazino's been cut off. Rooney's position. He's full flash though. Taco. They've got to execute on this. That's a big kill out from Taco, and he's not able to find much more. As Zelsus got the trap. With That's five it. seconds left. Yeah, there's no way through. Shy's on the complete opposite side of the map. Maybe I thought out of the timeout, they go right back to the grass. Everyone, no doubt. Exactly what they were doing at the beginning. Let's run it again. Straight up through B Link, getting somebody inserted in sewers, and they wait out the time. These are sort of things that I was actually noticing that they're not doing as much, right? Falling back on the same ideas. I think there in that timeout, you might be getting a little bit of that old Leviathan creeping up, where it's like, this should work. We have plenty of opportunities to make it happen. Yeah, ram your head against the wall, Type E. He's been a spark this series for Leviathan. He's going to have to do it again. Taco with Blades, the first to go. Tries to go fast after clearing the alarm breath. There's no challenge. They're going to scale up around it. So this insertion of players mid. Just from the other side. Yeah. I mean, they're meticulous. And they do get in position here now on art where they should be able to execute really strongly on the Cloud9 side. And they don't have those tools again to deny this entirely like they did last time. But what they do have is a lot of space by Leaf deep up belong and we've been completely ignoring this space if you're Libya done. Destroyed. Seekers invested from back in spawn. That misdirection there from Taco is neutered because of those Seekers. And it's following up from the backside. Somebody's got to break that for him. Otherwise he's getting nearsighted as this goes through. Meanwhile, King dies. Oh! Oh! Two! And he's got more to go. Still three blades left, left in his back pocket. Zappa oh! decapitated. Courtesy of Nosler. Taco's still alive and healthy. Leaf is going to be making a cautious approach towards A main. Uh. Somehow you clean up Taco. You still have Shy waiting around. Double peek coming in. That tandem is pretty, and it cleans him up. The job is done. Rooney's left alone in this 1v3. He's got a turret, and he's healthy. Time is not on his side yet again. Decides to go for Shy first, not even able to clean him up. We talked about Taco being a spark. There it is. With the knives just floating through on that A side. That flick is this first shot. I'm like, oh, it's whiffing a little bit. And then the, the flick on the Jake is just crazy. And you know, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, seeing him in his last series, I thought, okay, he's he's warming up. Maybe yeah, this yeah. is more the taco that we were used to or the taco that we were expecting. But I didn't I didn't fully believe that he was back. But the performance that he's put up this series, I mean, that's it's eliminating all doubt. For somebody who was slumping in the regular season, Toxins going up. you start Boys to remember off. old taco and how dominant he could be. And I think... There we go. We actually, I was just mentioning how they were ignoring this space. And yeah. I'm not even sure how they recognize that Leaf had taken that last round, but King gets right back into a regular 1-3-1 default here and destroys him. Cheeky little high-low. This is great. I mean, Cloud9 is a team that once they lose the advantage, they immediately try to strike back. I mean, you could see it right now happening. The three players grouping up inside of B-Link right now to maybe go for a push. Oswald's gonna be the first. Where's the turn? They've got a high-low on the other side, too. 
Look at how well considered this is from Leviathan. And they just put a high tide up towards B. It doesn't net them a kill though, and this clock is ticking. Down to 40 seconds. Not the same tools, they're gonna invest the Reckoning. As the alarm ball breaks. Jake's in trouble here. He's gonna get pushed into A main, and Shy's on the other side of that. When does he go? I mean, if he wins this fight though. Yeah, he's got so much control and so much pressure, but he turned at the wrong time! Just a millisecond away! That's such great timing from Shy there. Waiting for that spike tap to go in. And then as well, the Nosware flash. He doesn't use either of those though. And he peeks off of that spike tap right as Jake's attention gets drawn elsewhere. As the calls are being made from Cloud9. Spikes being planted on A. That one hurts for him. But again, such a good timing from Shy. It seems like Levi Thunder keen to go hunting too. They have two members trampling down long, two members going down through spawn too. Or Link, excuse me. They want to get the guns out of the hands of the members of Cloud9 and for good reason. There's an op and you see it on the HUD. The other two don't have much money. Solstice does keep the op. But the rest of Cloud9 is down to scraps. 2.1k. Yeah, dude. Second round in the row lost. You called that engagement in the previous round, and that was Leaf with an op. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that they're able to recover that. Really, the only silver lining. Yeah. Time. Way to insert himself there. It seems like a lot more stable, calm. But they are in a position right now. They have the lead. It's only down to two, though, here. Leviathan struggled to open this half. But they're definitely bringing it back now. Blades for Leaf and that orb control should net King his ult if they want to go that way. No, they're just going to bypass it entirely. Right they're going to continue to take A. And this is the fastest round we've seen so far. Oh, what God! Is, what is the approach here? I thought Leaf was going to get a second. King does have his pit online now oh. after the kill. Ducking back, 20 HP. 44 now. Dancing around, the spike is out of reach, just not in anyone's hand. Oh. 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 What a play! Boldly swinging out and establishing the control for Leviathan. Spike planted. What the heck does Rooney do here? The hop in hand as he creeps forward. Does yeah. <laughs> yeah, does he, does he dare try to make a play here? It is planted for them, right? They're lined up right now. Yeah, that's tough. He's trying to clear default at the same time as he's walking into the angle, which they've set themselves up for right. perfectly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's now three in a row. Olivia done that. That was a scary situation. Once Leaf got going with those knives, I thought, oh, no. Here. They're going to get ecoed. <laughs> And it's down to one here. Both teams with one remaining timeout as we get closer and closer. Leaf is still able to buy an op. That's why Rooney was definitely going for a couple kills there. And he does get his lockdown there too, so he needed to die. Leaf with an possibility of an early pick. And it's just no one to help clear the trailblazer for him. So he tries to play around the timing and he's dashed right back onto. It came back up to try to help Zeppa, but that almost got him killed. And so much space taken right now. They've got this combination here. Lockdown with the pit. Could be beautiful, but look at the position of Zelsus right now inside of A main. He's definitely somebody who you're looking at to pinch on the pit when it comes into it. Oh, that's on scope. He doesn't have dash here. And he gets detained for it. But there's help coming. You see the flash is already out from Zeppa and they've swarming around him. Zelsus gets the first and they want to take the fight in, but Cloud9 are glad to take it. In the face of the Seekers, more space is found. Another round for Cloud9. And the funny part there is that detainment that happened inside of Secret over here actually gets completely helped by the rest of the Cloud9 players. They flood in to help him because that Lockdown is not taking that much space. And on top of that, Leviathan overcommit to trying to kill the one player. Yes, it's Leaf. 
But you think if that if that detain is not there, they're just putting a regular plant out. They're getting the pit down, and just some the star yet again. Zelsus has I don't know, probably his twentieth reckoning at this point. In the map. <laughs> It just seems like every time we look, he's got one. Yeah, it's slowed down a lot on this defense half, but it's also a lot harder to get orbs on this half. Yeah, yeah. out. And there's not the same incentive. Not Sorry, there's not the same focus for Leviathan actually on the same orb collection from the Xeno, because yeah. they've been focused so much on mid. And that does give opportunities away. Back towards mid. The same reverse pinch down onto Art. Like the little detail there from Taco, jiggling with his jump and then floating back into the angle so he doesn't get completely spammed. And I also noticed Rooney there as well, just holding the lockdown out. Up and be heaven. So off of that Trailblazer getting cleared out, Cloud9 understand that there is some presence, there is a player inserted. It's very interesting that he actually uses a trailblazer there not to set up Leaf, who is going walkabout in a main here, but instead for Stewards, where he basically just gets confirmation that they've taken that space. And you he see does the, it anyways, though. You see the pivot around it. Jake is taking the space. Is that had to rotate over towards A to help? 40 seconds. We've seen this before. The lockdown from Rooney. He's set up inside of B Heaven to put it down instantly as information comes down, but there's a fake going on. Does Rooney hold strong? Reckoning comes through, they hear him falling back. This, this round might just end because of Rooney's lockdown. Here he goes, yeah, alarm bot broken, instant lockdown. They've got to plant and then get out, but there's really not that much space. They have to do it down below. They, I mean, they can't really push him. They can't do anything to clear it out, so they commit to the plant. They're, they might all get detained. Two, maybe. Three. three players! That's gotta be the round. But there's two flankers still. One of those detainments is Taco and B-Link. Rooney's gotta at least get it to half here. He can commit to it the whole way. There's no challenge. I mean, Rooney just just made a, a round nice saving point. play. Hey, listen up. By himself, all like off death. of the timing of the ult. But the crazy thing there, Doug, is he was literally holding on that ult from one minute, 20 seconds of yeah. the round. Yeah. He just sat there, like he's, he was in his cypher cam, just waiting for contact. And, and then also the discipline to not rotate off when yes, the hit was happening yes. towards A. There was a dash out from the jet, there was a reckoning too. Yeah. I mean, thankfully Cloud9 had the tools to actually respond to that hit, yeah. that fake yeah. pressure, so that Rooney could stay still, but... Leviathan kind of walked into the worst case scenario for that situation. Speaking of Rooney, he's got a Bucky in this round. Cloud9 on map point, Leaf on the swing, the spike Spiked sitting there mid. on the other side of the cascade. Well out of the reach of the remaining members of the Leviathan. He's got to swing out. Taco does, gets one, but that's all it is. Push back to this is the first time. Look at this plank there, Jake. Yeah, they're getting pinched. Jake's going to see everything, and he's going to hit nothing. The Leaf responds. The spike is still. Nowhere in the control of Leviathan. Oh, but the alarm bot's not covering the space right now, and neither is the turret. He might get a backstab. I mean, this would still be so far for Leviathan to have to go. But they're leaving. What's he gonna do? Pit the turret? That <laughs> <laughs> wall doesn't uh, give him any no. space either. No, it's still gonna see you. In fact, it does give actually Shy a room to peek right there inside of shops. That's why he actually cycles that. Meanwhile, through all of that, Cloud9 have taken a main. They're going to wrap all the way around, make sure there's no presence that way. Noise. They still know where the spike Last is. They still knew where the spike was. Shy had no idea. King's going to have to 1v3 to keep it alive, and he cannot. A commanding 2-0 lead for Cloud9 as, Tate, as they take... Consider that with this double duelist, it's definitely some place where it could get slowed down. Oh gosh, they that have so many people here already ready to go. Oh, look at the gravity ball and then the flash leap on the swing, but Shy gets the kill. And Zappa, if he had a nade there, I mean, that would have been brutal, but he was looking to actually punish him. Oh, Jake walked by. He just spotted him though. What's no going way. on? They tucked into each other's smoke again. King finally cleans him up, and look at where Zelsus is. Pure chaos in this round, and Zelsus might have crept his way through. I don't think that you're going to be expecting this if you're Mazzino. He's checking, though. <gasps> no way, bro. What is this round? Multiple people sneaking in the back lines right now. Rooney's actually rotating towards A to clear spawn. <laughs> 
Right, and that's gonna leave Nasra on the site by himself. Nelsus is gonna have to play control across spawn while Nasra has fallen. Nelsus has done a good job to stay alive, delay for a little bit. But the spike's not out. The gravity wall kept him back. Mazino almost makes a huge play there. But Rooney cleans him up, and now King is left alone in this 1v3. Spike planted. Rooney weak, the drop from the controller. You see the challenge. All three of them are there. None of them are found. Rooney with three in the pistol for Cloud9. What a setup. And, and it was such a chaotic round, too. You think about how Jake and, uh, Jake and King were passing around each other through the Viper smoke. You had Zelsus, who tucked into spawn, was never detected, managed to work his way through. It was just so chaotic from beginning to end. Just ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and then we started with this. Yeah. I forgot about this. Oh, I'm actually listening to... I think the nade went off and actually missed. Mm. But either way, that's a fault line grab vault combination that Cloud9 opens with a lot, so it's surprising to see. Leviathan walk right into that. Maybe. Showing off some of the... There it goes. Deference away from anti-stratting in this case that Leviathan has honestly become synonymous with. Ooh. He's the one who walks away. Yeah. Worse for wear after that battle. And this time, you know, we, we've been talking about Levitan and their purchases after losing the pistol, and we've seen a couple of times it's either five sheriffs or four sheriffs and a marshal. Not the case this time around. Yeah. It's more so on the attack sides where they go for some of that stuff, where they can have that spike as an opportunity as well. And then on Pearl, they won that first defensive round as well. But at this point, they've only won one pistol. Out of the five, it's starting to become a problem. And if it snowballs like it did on Lotus for Cloud9, it's going to be a very dangerous situation for Liviathan to play in. Satchel out from heaven from Zeppa. He's, he couldn't see a thing, man. He was fully flashed up. 30 seconds left. They're going to rotate off of this given the space that Leaf has towards B. I mean, there's just a constant lurk every single time, but Taco's in position to actually punish. Leaf has to get a backstab on him, and he's not going to find it. Now he does. Now he's dropped in. Taco had no shot. No shot at all. It seems like another round that will go in favor of Cloud9. Ten seconds left. Last that should, for all standing. intents and purposes, secure it. And Shy's making noise, too, so Rooney does know. With a lot of... I am <laughs> surprised that he's walking into that, given he has 2 HP, but okay. We'll take it. I think it is important for him to try to challenge there, given after the sense Aiko is too off of his ult. I mean, he's starting off hot 4 0 already, and you're right, two points away from having the Rolling Thunder online. I wouldn't be surprised to see them do exactly that same fault line grab vault combo and B main to just yeah. instantly put themselves in a spot to get that orb up. It's just such a crazy story when you think about Cloud9 and the regular season that they had, how dominant they looked for them to stumble in the playoffs, just what, two rounds away from making Tokyo and find themselves here. Now just one map away from making it to the grand finals. But even that won't be enough. Even that won't be that final stumbling block. Yeah. But it almost seems like, given the regular season they had, it's, like, it's almost like they're destined for this. They're destined to make it that far. And they've pushed Leviathan, a formidable foe too. This is a Leviathan squad that looks so much stronger than they have in the past. And Cloud9 have weathered it well. Poison's off. King was a menace from this position, and this time he's cleared. Mazzino, very nice tracking, not able to find the other. Still 50 seconds. Nas was in a position where he can get punished here. Losing that fight. Makes Taco's job almost impossible at this point. I mean, it opens up the site, really. You see him turn the flash, proc the dash, try to get a kill, and he dealt some damage under Jake. Now feeling overwhelmed, the pressure surrounding him. Rooney with the spike, he drops it down, 28 HP, and only Shai's eight moments left. Shy's coming from heaven right now. He's actually isolated the spike. It's gotta be faster than this. Taco's been able to stay alive this entire time. Jake, what a play! The Red Bull clutch for Cloud9! And it really felt like a blunder there for Leviathan. Absolutely. Where's the communication? Where's the awareness from Shy in that situation? I'm wondering if Taco's calling. They're both wrapping me on pillar yeah, there maybe. because, I mean, to me, that's a clear situation where they're going to try to pinch you down at new box. 
And it, it felt like for Cloud9, it was it was slow. It was almost too slow. But Jake with massive awareness. But even still, Shy there has eyes on the spike. Why yeah. does it need to be dropping down in yeah. that case? And you're spit. And it's it's crucial there to me that it's coming from Shy because this guy is the he was the rock on this map. He was the guy who was consistently clutching up. He was the guy who's just such a strong anchor. We've already seen it in this map where he shut down that bonus push onto the A site. Force up here though. What have done? A couple stingers bought up. I mean, they're just gonna have to start respecting his fault line. Yeah, and they are. And you saw right there the recalled star instead of actually a grab well, because you're never going to put yourself in a position to get stunned grab well. The important thing about that combination is with just a grab well, you're able to jump out of it. With a stun too, if you're you done. jump, you're actually stuck inside the middle. Yeah, you're done. Just Taco here. Four man push from Leviathan towards Garage, a Trailblazer to clear the way, and they're gonna get some map control. They're gonna get some awareness of where the play is, but. They've left Taco on an island. We're just now getting that breach ult that we spoke about a couple rounds on. Up. And it's funny that Cloud9 is actually finding the same site where Taco is alone. This time on the A side, though. Oh, and breach ult coming in. Dodges Dodge it. But the cam should know where he is. He repositions, dies anyway. I mean, he had so many things he had to navigate. The Rolling Thunder, the Concuss from Astra, everything thrown his way. That's one of those situations where it's like, what can I do? <laughs> Tried to delay as long as possible, too, yeah. with that cloud burst in their face. They do manage to re-clear ramp. Cloud9 is kind of all funneled in the safe site. This is a terrible post plant positioning for them. Yeah, they're hunkered down. But with the weapons that they have, is it going to get punished? There's no serious carpeting of util following up with that. Snake bite coming in. Yeah, and if they don't frag out, they're they're at risk of losing these weapons to the spike. But those are two huge kills from Cloud9. No, great stun. That's both stunned right now. Oh! Whoa. Excuse me? One enemy this is way one. closer than it should be. There's no time right now, no, but still, yet. you're right. They're losing yeah. all these weapons. I don't know that they're going to be able to find their way out of this. Not with that flash, no. Jake gets out, maybe. Yes. So one preserved. Another round for Cloud9. And only one rifle preserved. Look down on them, my friends. Up in the hands of Taco right now. Comes at the perfect time as they get all that damage done. And again, I do like the choice of sight for them. They find Taco again on the site where he's alone, kind of for some reason anchoring his jet here. In most instances, he was there on B, and that's where they forced those first couple of rounds. Right. Oh, with this op, it's not gonna be the same story though. He's gonna get aggressive through the orb. What fans of Ethan wanna see? He has to stay here for so long though because of all this B control that Cloud9 constantly goes for. He just gotta kill through the smoke and Lev! They've opened this up! Zappa having to push his way forward, manages to get past the stun, but now you've got the Molly and the op trade yeah. on the exit out of garage. Taco's position has been so good in this. And no smoke as well to get him off of it. Because of the kill he got in mid Spike on Jake. Down B. Celsus think... was in position to try to punish off that first kill and he just doesn't go for it. I think the other key thing to consider here is Levy Thunder just a mo few moments away from getting their first round of the map is you look at their ult economy too. So they should, barring uh, an outrageous play from Celsus, who's able to take a weapon or two out of their hands, they should be able to carry full weapons into the next round. They have decent armor set up, and they have four ults to work with. Those Nas were not far away from having his own. But you also think, based off of the last round that we just saw, only carrying one one rifle in seconds left. to this one, forces Cloud9 to make an interesting decision here. Zalsus not even going to mm -hmm. go for anything. Gets his gun up, but what type of buy are we going to see in that next one? Leaf with 700, Rooney 450. Given Ten it's going to be their left. first round loss, some of those players are just not going to be able to buy. Yeah. Jake as well probably won't even be able to maybe light armor bulldog, something like that. After winning four rounds in a row, not quite the buy that you were hoping for, actually. No, you wouldn't think they'd be in this position, yeah. 
So we'll see what they choose to do. We expected Zeppa to be able to buy. He does. Also carries the Phantom over from the previous round. And yeah, what what's what's the next? A smattering of, of what? Spectres and pistols? Seems like that will be the case. So we take a look at this one more time. Once again, the opener from Taka really just kind of set up maybe a time to be able to. Well, it was also Mazino too getting spam as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stun here, possibly the double satchel up heaven. Off of the flash, yeah, the fault line, the flash. Zeppa gets up and gets through. And just noting the economy, it is basically a full force here from the Cloud9 side. With all these ults up for Lev, it's a very risky proposition, but if it works out, it works out. You get a bunch of ults and still win the round, and they go. And for Leviathan, ideally, you get through this without having to invest very much or any. Shy's already got one. How does he get two? That's what I'm talking about. That anchoring for Shy as the sky. He's been so good. It's just beautiful. I know exactly planted. where you are. Caution here. Yeah, and it looks like... I mean, Zelsus is investing the Neural Theft. There are the blades online. The first one and probably the easiest to be okay to part with. Oh, he's so high. Got some high ground. Jake getting tattered and battered. And that's another round for Leviathan. And again, this is kind of the conversation we were having. Yeah, they invested the, the Blade Storm from Taka. Every other ult was kept. Yeah. Shame. I love explosions. And Cloud9 are going to be back down to maybe Stingers here as well. Yeah. So they've kind of allowed Leviathan, like you said, with the ults getting kept, they've kind of allowed them to be back in this game. Yeah, this is a crazy pad. Also, dude, shy from this spot in LCQ, you were mentioning it uh, during the round. He's just been outrageous. It's been one of those spots where, especially in this double duel, And like you were talking about, these ults still online, basically. It was only Nasworth, or excuse me, Takalia, who popped his in the last round. And we are going back to that classic Cloud9 eco. Two shares, three stingers. While well, they had the money for it. This is a break point that favors Lev here. But Cloud9 are so dangerous on this. You know, the conversation we've had, too, about their willingness to invest ultimates in rounds that you wouldn't necessarily expect. They do have the Seekers from Leaf to work with. Scout destroyed. And with how decisive they've been in the past. So that Trailblazer actually gets normally Taco on the angle. This time it's Nosworth, which could be very dangerous in terms of nade potential here. They're going to walk across with the cage, maybe walk out. Oh, Nosworth, this nade could be huge for Shy. Oh my, oh my god. god! Goodness! Three! Three from Nazareth! What a round. What a setup. You thought he may have botched it when he missed the, the opening shots with the Phantom, but they had nowhere else to go but back into his lap. Uh, the follow up nade. They're trying to run away from it. They go into a flash. They have to run back into him. Like, yeah. devastating situation. And that's what I was talking about. about trying to expect where Taco's off is going to be. When you have that Trailblazer go up and aim in, usually it's to set up Taco. He was doing that over and over in the game against Sentinels. And he's getting massive value out of it. So great from Leviathan again to swap Nosworth on that angle. It's the stars here from Cloud9. Fault line. Trying to punish up heaven. Yeah, fault line, gravity well, and the double satchel up from Zeppa. Once again, designed to punish Taco. And they do know he has that op online. He got to kill in the last round. Interesting to see how Cloud9 are so insistent on not really playing through mid. They, have, they haven't really done it much this entire half. Scout just I've got your trail. Trailblazer are from heaven. Yeah, they're the Seekers, the Flash. Go you know where where is. Ooh. I mean, in the face of the Trailblazer, not able to get anything. A shot gets two. Spike down. There it is, the flash out, but this time the Nebula not. Spikes down. Connecting. Taka not landing shot with the Ops. Elsus with a bold swing. An audacious one, but it secures the kill. Oh, he picked up the spike thing. Actually gave up eyes on it. 40 seconds now. I thought this round was unwinnable, but no. He's got it. 
And they're actually going to be able to walk through spawn potentially here. 30 seconds yeah, but I think left. Leviathan are aware of where their weaknesses are. You see the pings on the minimap towards screen. They understand that they've likely lost spawn control here. Well, it's all dependent on what King is going to do right now. He's yeah. actually expecting them to come through ropes, but that's going to potentially even make it hard for him to hear the spike plant if it goes down onto beef. But with this flash, that's the cue. And he thinks still over towards Ten ropes. Seconds left. Second follow-up flash. It's going to be a late rotate from the rest. King needs to stay alive. Spike planted. And he doesn't even threaten this B main push, which might allow Leaf to get in position. It's not a good plant for it, though. Oh, this is so Nelson. much info right now. Oh. Leaf might have a flash coming soon. Oh. That's big. Yeah, I thought it was going to wrap and not hit him. Zelsus is forced to take a different route. Dude, this position from Leaf. If Zelsus can grab attention. But can he? How patient will Leaf be? Yeah, there's attention. Leaf on the swing. Zelsus gets a kill. He's sticking. Shine's going to get it to half. He's managed to get it that far. But Zelsus with three water rounds from Cloud9. You mentioned it, man. It looked unwinnable. You thought it was done. The spike was down on a wrap. Out on the side almost. And Levithan just lose eyes on it. Nobody jump spotting it. Nothing. I'm not even sure they really knew it was down. And what a, I mean, what a start for them. They get the first three kills on a fast execute attempt from Cloud9 where there were ults invested. And that happens two versus five. They're losing a lot of these situations. Not as drastic as that, but every map so far, Leviathan has had the first kill advantage, and Cloud9 are still coming out pretty decently ahead. Up in the hands of Taco, and they've managed to find the site where he is not yet again. You are divided. They're going to invest the Cosmic Divide, the Rolling Thunder. They're throwing everything oh. in the kitchen sink at this. Great Molly made. Grab well as well. That's a guaranteed kill there on Zeppa. Nude is the showstopper. And it is the first kill again towards the left, but they do get the site, which forces a post plant situation. Key ult here, though. Mazzino with his Cosmic Divide can do the same exact thing that just happened right now, where he splits up the site. And they can force a post plant defuse. Shy just got a flashback. You imagine they're going to want to invest that, right? There it is. There's a the Cosmic Divide. Rooney just narrowly missing a window to capitalize on it. As Elsus is forced to wait on the other side, he still has two teammates playing on site, understanding where the pressure's coming from, the gravity wall to keep him back. What a position for Jake. Shy forced to wait. There's the satchel. There's Jake with the position that you just mentioned. Swinging for the second and finding it. The third just on the other side. Elsus with the ult. A 1v1. He's not even going to be able to get it half. He's watching it. He knows it's being defused. And Elsus with another massive play. <laughs> <laughs> Huge play from Zelsus, 100%, but he loses his gun for no reason while celebrating. That's still advised, given the economy situation, not great for Cloud9. Too easy, too given easy. these rounds are coming down to two VXs, one VX in this situation from Zelsus. Well handled. I have to scratch my head, though, again. That's a 4v5 loss from Leviathan. Yeah. A 2v5 into a 4v5, and now they're completely forcing up. They had the opportunity to get into this game. I mean, you could tell they were rolling. Those two rounds, though, have shifted things back. Rooney has kept his fault line. He didn't use it at the beginning like they've been doing the last couple of rounds. And I wonder if it's going to be used to try to clear mail so that they can establish some mid-presence. Remember, Cod9 have not really explored this area of the map. You can see how cautious he's being again yeah. against the spam from yeah. Zeno. That That's hurt already so much. I don't know that I blame him. Zappa spotting one. Alvar uh, instantly drops the Roomba. They play around it. They know so much here. Yeah. Uh, and Cloud9 is regrouping towards B right now. Why? Because you actually just had this cam put out late from Zelsus that spots the op of Takalia. And so that's drawing attention. And they're happy to push into this B-side, which they're having so much success with. What a play from Nosworth. He's alone, though, now. He was flashed. He's got to stay alive, and he can. He's overwhelmed. One down. Trades abound. Shy was just a little late on it, though. That's going to give up the site. Look at Zelsus again on the flank. 30 seconds left. It's a 2v2. Zelsus will be late. He's really far. Yeah, you're right. Rooney's weak. That molly. Ow. Ooh, 10 HP. But they think it's cleared. 
And Taco has an op in this position. He still lands a shot. Oh, no. Not expecting a second to dash back. Zelsus with the cam. He's been so out. good. Can Zelsus do it again? The tap. It's just a challenge. It's just a dare. Oh. And the op shot missed, but King does not. It's completely intended to get that op shot missed. Yeah. I mean, you could see it just baiting out the barrel of the gun. I'm wondering there why there was no smoke on this spawn nice, but not nice when they hit that site when Nosworth's doing a great job. I think he just doesn't have any more stars at this point because he's using so much for control at the beginning of the round. You did note how it was the boom bot instead going into B main instead of that grab well. But there's only a smoke on heaven and that allows all those trades to come in because individually those kills that Nosworth that King were having as they come out weren't all gonna be, you know, round ending kills or anything like that. Right. Because you were getting Leaf trading them, but they were getting traded right back by Leviathan. King again from the same spot. Saw him do it in the previous series. Does it again. Taco finding another with the op. This is a light buy from Cloud9 and has the makings of a flawless round. Dude, the hardest kills are the ones where they're not facing you and not moving. Leave cleaning it up, a 1v3 with the stinger. And a great round from Naviathan. That pace from Cloud9 is not expected, but it comes without a timeout, without anything like that. Half. Full faith right now from go. MCE on his players to try to close out this half, but... In these situations now, two in a row for Naviathan, I mean, they are staying right hip to hip with Cloud9, despite a lot of situations that would absolutely tilt a team. Yeah, absolutely. And 2v5 into a 4v5, yeah. these situations over and over, you think are in their control. This is gonna be the first round that I can remember where they're gonna push into the op from Taco. He is here. Zeppa still taking damage. He's had such a hard time finding space and converting it into advantages. I've got your At least early on. Let's see some example of that. Both Seekers invested here. Last round of the half. Last all Rooney, one point away from having the Rolling Thunder. So keep a close eye on that. One kill could be all the difference, but Leviathan are keeping it at bay. Showstopper from the duel is finding another kill, looking for another, not able to connect. Jake with just a sliver of health, and Leviathan pounce. Well, it might be tied. I'm struggling to find a way to give advantage to one side or the other. Leviathan is dominating on the first kills board. 10 to 2 in that situation. Yeah, it's outrageous. But Cloud9 is doing such a good job in these man down situations that it's even at... It's a piece. We'll see what the setup looks like. We also have to consider now the Viper utility on the attacking side. We didn't see that in the previous half. So we'll see how they choose to play this out. And you're seeing three players towards this A side right now. They flash up heaven to insert Taco up the ramp while the rest of the side of Liviathan is trying to do exactly what they did on Pearl. Remember, they would take mid from the backside. It's almost like they're trying to do the same thing on a different map right now. Also, but instead regrouping and just grabbing the orb. Yeah, worth noting here, there was a very intentional it. plan of Cloud9 to I'm get the orb in the hands of Zeppa at the opening of the round. And important here as well, they did break that camera and Zelsus and Zep, or, uh, Leaf end up re-clearing ramp. So all that space that Leviathan tried to take at the beginning of the round has been completely re-cleared by Cloud9. They have a full understanding and you have four players on this B-side. Okay. Look at the setup from Jake, he's very close. Right on the left of this execute with this stun, it could be disgusting. Nobody here to follow up. Oh gosh, how have they managed to stabilize that? And look at the smoke too from Jake. He actually blooms it way out so that he could tuck behind it and have room for them. Cool. The timing not on the side of Jake left. that we were just highlighting him. Tricky spot. Leaves in a worse spot there as King gets another. One beneath him. I thought he was gonna hit that shot. Well handled by Zeppa though. He's got three on the round already. He's a little weak, but Mazino's left in the 2v2. Oh, 56 HP. The cam in the face. Ten seconds left. Zelsus Try to run up. away right now. Six seconds. He just ring around the rosy. Yeah. Has no time to pick up the spike. But if he's quiet about it, he oh! might find what he's looking for. Oh! What? Oh, Mazzino just in the nick of time. There's less than 
the second there as that engagement starts. And no. Zeppa just swinging on him. I mean, such a crucial round. We've seen two pistols come to close clutch Enemy moments remaining. from the Vietnam players. Left. But this one converts from a Zeno. I think it was less than a second when he got that kill. Just crazy. All right, no time to dwell on that. We're back into the action. Levitan and Taco back to their opening ways, finding two massive kills. And that, I mean, the pistol might have been just uh, if we were considering on Pearl, on on uh, Lotus, how much difference it would have made for the outcome of the game. And Zeppa picks up another one. This just gotten interesting all of a sudden. Look at this A main pressure coming in. Jake is here, but Shy's on the flank. The wall actually isolates him. Last player standing. Zeppa's picked up a bulldog here, Doug. He's fully healthy too. Checking everything around him, and I think he spotted Shy. Snaps. Not able to connect onto Taco, who gets four on the round and gets Leviathan a two-round lead. I mean, it feels like Leviathan is taking here. some of the stinger power from Cloud9 yeah, yeah. in this game and applying it just as well as they hold on there. But it wasn't a clean anti-eco. No, not at all. And it is important for Zeppa to start getting going here in the second half. And a few kills here, both on the pistol and now this. A rough first half from him. Where if he was slightly better, all of a sudden you're looking at an 8 4 half in Cloud9's favor. Yeah, absolutely. Get out of my way. Not the case. Blades on mine for Taco. Remember, just getting the 4K last round allows this for him. Oh, he's going to spot him. Zelis has tried finding Solace in the cage, and he could not. And that's the difficulty of the Cypher there. If that's an orb instead, if that is a actual Astra smoke or an Omen smoke, anything like that, all of a sudden you're not able to look over top like that. So just anything to provide a little head cover. That's actually the knives gone though. So everybody else pretty weak weaponry other than Nosworth, who's playing up close on this corner, easily a player who can be targeted. And dropped. Not just targeted, but dismissed. Cloud9 have trampled their way through this site, through the round. Jake with three, and a great response from Cloud9. Keeping four rifles, Zeppa has his ult going into the next two. Yeah, the economic situation is part of the reason why this struggled for Lev. Again, getting that first kill over top with the knives, and then the retake is just so strong there. Taco peeking ahead, trying to use take them out. those knives to get just one one tap. But allows them right back into this. And there's no util there because of how they bonused in this instance to actually do anything on the screen player coming out. And there's no ults online right now because Taco is the one who's taking the majority of the orbs and the kills earlier on in the half. Blinded. Meanwhile, Cloud9 has Showstopper and a Cosmic Divide if they want. Whoa, he's my punish. Fast! Over top! That is a tough ult to hit. He fires it up on the wall, high where Taco is updrafting. That reaction is difficult from Zeppa. They've gotten out on the side though. You see Mizino tucked behind the smoke, so you have no idea. Jake was completely unaware of his positioning. That should open up the site. The thing is, ah, Zeppa was in a position to control things. But he gets clothesline too. Yeah. Lev, we're clapping back here. There's two players coming into ropes, trying to push back against King and Mail. Maybe Rooney can play spoiler. He's back and spawn King with a nice click onto the first, not connecting on the second. While Rooney is patiently bought time. Flash out. The first flash now is positioning given away. Last Paranoid of what may be around the corner. And he swings into three. Another round for Leviathan. instantly canceling what progress Cloud9 might have made and forcing them back down to Stingers. And as Leviathan gets some momentum here in the second half, gets some momentum here in possibly the series. Enemy spotted B. Cloud9 are looking, the types of questions are what reverse sweeps mm -hmm. end up being made of. So you have to be trying to, if you're Zalsif 
if you're MCE here, keep that team calm. It was something Valen was talking about, how he was impressed with that aspect from Cloud9, and I definitely agree. It's a team that can get emotionally caught up in the moment, which could be good and what could be absolutely devastating. I think we've seen both ends of it so often throughout the season. I mean, there was, they were set up for aggression A, but Leviathan just overwhelmed what Jake had B. They were expecting it on the opposite side of the map. And now Leviathan are able to prance forward. Oh, that stun though, the that's flash as well. Pretty out of the smoke, but Nazwar and Taco still get two. Nazwar with three. How? I mean, Nazwar wiped the floor with him. Well, that's the thing. That stun, that flash, it considers the sight but it doesn't consider that backside. So the only player from Cloud9 who's getting value is the player from Heaven who actually put that stun down. It's ruining. While the rest of them are just trying to get through Taco's smoke wow. and Nalzor is just feeding yeah. on them. His position was beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. That stun, that flash out of spawn to pop. It's down this lane on B, not the one where Nalzor was positioned. So he's perfectly fine to take that. I believe Taco got ahead of that fault line. Either way, no follow-up aggression from Cloud9. And four ults on the side of the attack. Yeah, this is scary. Double duelist dive with the showstopper Adam to the mix. You can see they're looking for the Cypher utility. But the cam's set up at A. And it has been set up there for the majority of these rounds. So it's good to see Leviathan making sure it's not there in this situation. They've just popped his Seekers in the mid-round. They're really worried about a, a pop, which we just saw in the last one, but also it's giving them some space to try to punish. Nazwer on the counter. There it is. Only gets one. Pushes into Zelsis, and Zelsis cleans him up. Now Neural Cleft used. Zeppa repositioning, staying alive as the spike is hurriedly making its way towards A, but Zelsis is going to be there on the cutoff. Oh my goodness. And the wall makes it look like he's not going to be there, but the flash confirms the stun, though. The spike made its way through. No punish. Zelsis gives it up, deciding to live to fight another day to reposition and join his team. I mean, right now there's so many ults right here that could make this tough. They're into the pit immediately here. I mean, it was so deep. Look how far he is. Meanwhile, Mazzino's gonna be on a crazy flank if he hits the right timing. They've got him corralled. The pit is still a problem. Coming behind him. One HP on the two remaining members. Given the decay, Mazino's there. The timing is great. And Rooney has nothing he can do. Livia Dunner starting to roll, taking that momentum that they should have had in that first half. With, again, in that first half, 10 to 2 on first kills. They really. Should have snowballed even on that one. It, the, the discipline for Nosworth to not remaining. fire on the first target that he sees and instead Ace. satcheling in forward to get a further showstopper into mail is just crazy. Almost got three with yeah. it. Yeah. One rocket. It's the biggest lead Livia Dunn has had all series so far, and you're starting to see why they've been putting emphasis on split instead of Pearl, despite it being undefeated up to that last map. Here in the LCQ. Once again, looking for the cam is Taco, but this time it's set up mid. Very reminiscent of the first time we saw them play this, this comp in LCQ and the setup that they have for mid. If there's any round for them to walk into a trap in mid, it would be this round. Yeah. You do see Rooney posted up in spawn on that same type of angle that he had, that he can play off of this camera from Zelsis. He's got the stun ready here. That thing can go really far, but Leviathan's not biting. And if you don't see the camera A, if you don't see the camera B, you have to ask yourself and check off the list. It's got to be in mid. You want to fight it? So they avoid the trap play and it makes it all the more difficult for Cloud9. They love to flood on these retakes, and you have players in position left. to do so. They're in front of the Astro Wall already. Yeah, they've already. Scale pass, you see Rooney and Zelsis playing on the other side of it. Oh, they're making it look like it's coming through ramp instead, but instead, three players coming through screens. And they know exactly where King is. They have him flash too, and the nade cleans him up. That was a stun nade combo. And that's so pretty because you don't have to expose yourself to the fight. Zelsis flash has to spam shy on the swing. The timing is great. 
Shy looking for more. Leviathan has just destroyed Cloud9. Match point. The first match point here for Leviathan. And their first attempt to claw back in this reverse sweep. We've seen multiple versions of Leviathan here in LCQ. And we've seen flashes of those on the first two maps. But not quite able to string together a map like this, and even this one in that first Get half. You scratch your head at a couple of the rounds that go opposite their direction. And I mean, they're finding consistently now the right calls here. Yeah. Against this Cloud9 no, squad. Fight. They're reading us very well. Avoiding all the possible trap plays here, even baiting out the nade and the aftershock with barely any actually no, no damage, damage yeah. done. Taco took nothing. I thought for sure you got hit by one ping of the aftershock. Look how well they're receiving the util here for Cloud9. I mean, almost all of what normally would net Cloud9 a kill. Used up in this case. It's just an empty threat. I'm wondering now how they're going to try to combo and use this Rolling Thunder. Right now, Rooney's in a position to maybe use Zeppa to follow up with him through mail. With 50 seconds left, this thing could really do some damage here. Rooney did just get his fault line back up, too. So there could be some layers to this. Look at look at the positioning. Look at where Zeppa is, and that's where the spike is headed. Waiting for the Q. Yeah. There it is, the Rolling Thunder. But look at how much space has been taken but towards also, B. The problem is they're already set up here. Look at Leaf, left. but he's between them. He's behind them. Zelsus cleans him up. Leaf patient. Finally gets one. The spike hits the ground. And so does Leviathan. It's such a good attempt from Leviathan, but they get funneled right into it. And King with his lurk all the way out on A site there. Honestly, felt like Ten seconds they left. knew. And they were letting him be in that space. The discipline from Leaf to stay up in heaven. Make sure he's really able to capitalize. Yeah, he's just so wide there, too. Beautiful stuff from him. I also, I mean, again, they're baiting, they're looking to bait out that breach hole the entire round. And it finally comes, but comes so late in the round that they only have one more choice. If that came a little earlier, they could act like they're running to A, then go back towards B, all that sort of stuff. Right, and so with that, we enter the 21st round. Ult in the hands of Zeppa. It's the only one currently online. Oh, Levitan has a couple that are close. Toxin screen down. Levitan has been running this very reactive style based off of the ults and based off of the util that is so plentiful from Cloud9. Huh? What is he waiting for? No, it's funny because Almost always, Taco's like pre-firing the camera. In yeah. this case, like it's very visible. He's in the camera. The stun comes through from Rooney, by the way. Again, cross map. Look how far Rooney is in this position. Yeah. Able to stun this way. But not getting the punish again. And that's what Leviathan is trying to do. Just bait out this util. It's been working so well for them on this attack side. Yeah, I think in this case, though, not only do you not get a kill because it looked like that's what Taco was playing for, just like a little cheeky time wing window, but the cam was still up too, so it continues to find value in info. 40 seconds, and they've not gotten Zeppa's ult out. Three here. Three here. Oh, that's the spike too. The aftershock leaves it out of reach. There's the ult. He's got to follow around it. Uh, he's just taking control of the spike right now, so round is over. Unless they somehow spawn an omen ult from somewhere else. <laughs> 15 seconds and you can't grab it. No chance. Ten you wonder here, left. this reactionary approach that you were just referring to from the attacking side and how it feels like there were just a couple of minor moments in that round that led to, to this situation. Right again, I think about Taco playing around the cam, trying to... Yep. Maybe get a little bit more than he should have just taken and just so much time was spent in playing around that too. I mean, we, I criticize him for that, but also it's very difficult to spot that cam. So, I mean, one one round where you're not really thinking about it and all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's seeing your feet before you can even realize what's going on. 
But I will say as well, Leviathan's approach on this, uh, this reactive style is a great way to burn down Cloud9 right now. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. looking at the last two rounds, all the ults are now gone. So if you're trying to just close out this game, the last three rounds here, you have the most opportunity that you've ever had because yeah. of that hard work that you've just done in these last couple. But they've got to find a win with it too. I've got your trailer. Only one spotted. Secrets used. And Taco goes forward. Celsius is going to have to take a step back. Cloud9 have already joined with two. Nobody able to punish with these trips. And Leviathan's not even walking into them anyways. Nazar with the spam to make sure nobody funnels out through the smoke or try to flood with it. 5v5 retake for the map here. Look at Taco's positioning. He's in such a good spot. There's a star right beneath him. Do they check? Do they know? There's a deep flash. He's somehow still alive. A one for one as you start to see his utility go through and maybe then have a really good post position, but they're so far back. It's planted for heaven right now. Mazino does have a star on the spike. There's a gravity wall. It's been drawn out. The smoke too. Jay Relying on the spam. Trying to play around it. Rooney has gotten it to half. There it is. It goes down. Rooney's gotten it three quarters of the way, but King's making a play. Cloud9 gets to the fuse. And there's actually a chance right now for this five round comeback to work out for Cloud9. It's a beautiful retake, 5v5 again. And this time, Leviathan does not burn down the util. And guess what that means? So much use to try to trap out these players. So much time here with this flash to follow up for Zelsus. They also had an aftershock remaining. combination with a gravel inside of hell. So there was no place for the Leviathan players to hide. Instead, they even get the smoke down on to that spike where they're playing for post plant. Op in the hands of Leaf. This round, the same mid camera setup that we talked about a couple of rounds ago. King. He's taking this angle against King. What is he waiting for? There's the op! And it finds a shot! They might spring into the site right here, right into this breach fault line. But where's the follow up? What's the damage? You've got the nade up top from Zeppa. And there it is. You see it go off. And Rooney doesn't even leave the back of site right there. No, just safe. And sure, you you do burn a lot of util there from Cloud9, but you also don't get out onto site. Leviathan definitely wanted that after that lost kill from King. There it is. But there's no there's no real follow-up to it now. They, they, they found the value. They found the info. There might be value in f future rounds. Oh, this smoke is bad. <laughs> the awareness there. From Rooney on Mazino's lurk through that orb is just beautiful and Leaf again too. Dude, they're not they're not gonna find a way into a site. It's this is gonna be another Cloud9 win. Falling the pieces here too. Leviathan still, despite the fact that they've lost left. now four in a row, their eco is still phenomenal based off of this half so far. And they've got max loss bonus as well. So Taco and Nazwer. They're easily able to get guns. King can also drop one. It's not the biggest of deals, and Nasr will have his ult Ten next round. Left. He was one off in this situation. And remember, all that baiting out of the ults from Zeppa, from Rooney, none of that has... All that time has not actually netted Cloud9 any extra ones that are huge, right? Leaf Seekers, okay, whatever. If you say but you don't have those power ults. We'll figure out what they do eventually. And you get the timeout from Lev now. They've got plenty of time to have just discussed exactly what to throw into this final round. Have done so good. Leaf, by the way, is juggling an op into position. He's got a phantom as well. King has 3,100 credits. Taco's playing with a judge. That's definitely a head scratcher, which means they're going to double dive here with the showstopper as well. They're going to try to punish Leaf, who has an op. He's just playing far back enough, and oh, that was so close, and there it is, there's the ult, he gets past it, fires and lands onto Zelsus. They take the site, they take the space. Where are you going? Oh and my they goodness. put him away, Zeppa's only able to find one. Might actually buy time for Rooney to push on the site right now, and it's planted for heaven. Leaves Third Gravel there, no. Oh my gosh. What a way to potentially end this map. With Mazzino with a shot like that. Jake finding one, not able to find the second. There it is. Nazwar gets four. Disaster avoided. We're going to map four. Three days ago, actually. It does feel like a week. It feels like a week, but yeah. We were playing in the week. On Tuesday it was. So how that shifts up your prep is ridiculously.
crazy. See a couple of dueling darts to open the round. Mizino on the swing. Nice footwork. Finding some know? pressure. Yeah. Leaf is just on the other side of this, and Mizino is repositioned. And back out a lobby here. Cloud9 is after pushing all the way down short, but look at Nosworth. And Mazzino right now, as that smoke clears, they're walking down. And that actually allows the Breach to go back over towards B as they clear A right now. But King, King's fault line just came back up too. Oh, but he used it towards mid. Or excuse me, towards A. That's going to allow them to get into B. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Shy. I've got to see that one. What an opener. And he's going to get a third. And at this point, get them all to him. Shy's going for the ace. Rooney sticks it in his ear and drops him. Spoils the fun. But for Cloud9, Rooney's gonna have to find a little bit more. Not able to. The pistol for Leviathan. What a ridiculous round from Shy. I mean, just show me the replay, basically. <laughs> just disgusting. I mean, two kills through the smoke. Three kills through the smoke, excuse me. And the first one felt like it was a collab. Like, yeah, it how was does very that close, happen? very quick succession. And through all of that, he's he's got five pips towards his lockdown. Oh, he pings for it! Wow. I mean, actually, that first one doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah, no, I still don't I'm still, I'm still not I've, understanding. I've seen it twice, and I'm not really sure what took place. Leaf fell in front of him, okay? So he's just shooting at Leaf. And then the second one was, I mean, just a collab. Just ridiculous. Jake is creeping his way up. You got Shy and Mizino both playing on the site. Interesting smoke there. You yeah. would look at it and think, okay, maybe that's a missed smoke for the top of the box against a Marshall, something like that. But I actually think that's just to avoid Mizino's jump spot so they can walk up against it. It's the second round now where Cloud9 are testing some area of the map, but once they pivot away, they don't really have any info of what's happening elsewhere. Well, they, they actually have a lot of info in mid right now because of this turret that just got placed out from Zeppa at the beginning of the round. So mid is kind of under their control. It does leave some room for them to pivot. Maybe they can go for a quick spike plan on B. But instead... That dart didn't tag. <laughs> takes advantage of it. Taco's been winning a lot of those first duels. We've been talking about it a lot. And look at this. They've actually rotated to Mizzino and... 30 seconds left. Nosworth with a dart over towards A. Well, the spike was completely intending on hitting the seaside the entire time. And Jake has free reign to continue this lurk because of the turret. Shy might be the only thing that stops him. Pushing into a sheriff right now. Jake's been great in these moments. Not good enough. Uh, not here. Down. Cloud Knight still managed to get the spike down, though. A little bit of money, if nothing else. They're committing to playing deep sea long right now. Well, the spike is planted for them, but there is also... Are they counting Mazzino smokes? Yeah, he doesn't have a star. So they're completely relying on... Beeman to get back up and play complete post fight right now. This is a great setup for Cloud9. And no, this isn't really going to be spamming of utility. There are no nanos or anything like that. It's just the guns. It's just no shock darts or anything like that. And the guns may seem to be working. They pull it off. I am mind blown by that decision. That is incredibly difficult to do against an Astra. When you know the Astra's still alive and they make the call to just fall off. If the Astra's alive, most cases you're just saying, no, absolutely not. Don't right, play long. Yeah. They counted his stars. They counted what he should have. <laughs> that shot from Leaf was outrageous. Huge round from Cloud9. I mean, they just continue to strike on these eco rounds, which makes it so difficult. Looking potentially like a stun dash by Taco in mid. <laughs> At least clearing out the turret. And we'll see what more they can find. The alarm bot set up from Zeppa to make sure no one's pushing forward towards A as they want to turn their attention. See, Leaf's already on the opener. That dart is crazy. Yeah, that dart's wild. And Taco's in the smoke, so he's not getting tagged by it, but easily could have been a kill on him. Well, he did get, he got tagged one pip too, so they have a decent idea of where he is. Well, they're back sight right now. While the plant's trying to go down, they can't commit to it. Taco's still around. Feeling some pressure. Great shutout from Shine. Taco has not been clear. Two bullets left now. Shocks are girly at this point. They're going to be able to clear him. 
I mean, the spike is just out of reach, too. Jake did just get a smoke back up. What a great molly! It's another round for Cloud9. And a little bit of plant money to boot. They're really taking the fight to Mizzino right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you remember the prior round? But this round, too, just looking to punish him. And it's so tough to actually track where Leaf is going with that dash because he throws a smoke top sight almost always. You're seeing your jets dash into that. But instead, Leaf dashes to the left and relies on the stun to allow him to stay alive. And the information, too, that they got on Mazzino when they initially called for that hit. That's four down C long right now. The orb in the hands of Rooney to get the Hunter Fury online. I mean. If they win this round, this is complete abuse. There we go, Mazzino. Well handled. Yeah, he's but he tagged, gets tagged, though. though. Yeah, he's dead. Guy had no shot. No real chance to do anything with it. Inches away from Shy, too. How did that not hit? I still got damage, though, with the spam anyways. Man, look at how far up Taco has gotten. He's already taken all of A. Bomb grenade out. Yeah, and I think as well, you're noticing King realizing that their turret's not there. Instead, it's actually deeper because they were always going to look to commit towards the seaside. That's giving Leviathan a lot of room, but it is leaving. Shy alone, he's backing off to play his lockdown, though, which is very key in this situation to have this alive. And Cloud9 have cut noise, and it seems like they're waiting for some of their utility to come back up. But with all of the information that Leviathan have, they're fully aware of what's ahead of them here. They know that it's not B. They know that it's not A. It's the lockdown, but once again, remember, you can just play down long here. The smokes are not up when Mazzino's down. Taco's going to be key on the flank here. Two shock darts for Rooney. Taco's got to find something. He does. How much more can he find? They have to deal with him. They can't leave him here. As he dashes away, we're seeing a fight on two fronts. Ooh. Maybe Jake. down trying to establish control down long. They might think Cubby's clear right now. That aftershock went in. He's so far off, Jake, only able to get one. Meanwhile, Taco continues to be the thorn in their side. Uncleared, finally Last falls. It's not even half yet. Yeah, and he's got five HP. There's no way. There's no way Shy can do anything about this. The flash, you see him on the wide swing, daring Zelsis to challenge. It's all just fancy footwork. Zelsis cleans him up. What is this game plan from Cloud9 right now? It's crazy how well this is working. They're just abusing the seaside over and over. Both when Mazzino's dead and when he's alive. <laughs> yeah. And there, you could tell the original plan the entire time was to try to get a smoke or uh, the, the drone to tag him. And he commits in the back of sight after placing his smoke down a little earlier. Still gets the spam though on Leaf, I believe, earlier in that round. Forces him down to Stingers. Similar Whoa. thing. I mean, with the early spam, oh, coming in though from Oswald, might find some more value. Two tags and a kill. Look how far he is. That's the guy in spawn. I mean, that's ridiculous reach on that old. And Mazzino's got in some a really nice spot here. With a Stinger, he's up close. You hear Leaf throwing off a gun in the background, by the way. Is this stun really gonna go? Two. Oh, the third almost connects. Just not enough bullets left in the clip. Oh, and an interesting thing right here happening. You just saw Zelsus fire off his fault line off the alarm bot, but they know Zeppa has to be local to this position. This but round. do they know he's this close? This round has gone into disarray. You see the patience shown from Zeppa. Surely someone goes through garage. Nope. Not the case. That's going to allow Zeppa to really find a lot of room to work with. Zelsis is playing back sight, too. He's got Breach ult. Yeah, he's Breach ult. He's got an Aftershock, too, and the timing on that's insane. Hey, oh, they're oh, stunned. They're so Drone. done. Oh, they're God. so done. <laughs> this is brutal. For Cloud9, they are absolutely destroying them. I don't think I've ever seen a double kill with an Aftershock. <laughs> Both pulses, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just gross, man. And it's funny because Nosworth it doesn't have to commit to his drone there. It, this felt like it, we're committed to the play, and regardless of what we see at the beginning, we're going to dash out and try to make a play. There were spamming double doors, and, they, and Taco still committed to dashing out. He was, he was, he was so done. He actually saw Zelsus repeat there and get a little spam damage done so that he stays in that aftershock again. That's crazy. You're right, though. Leviathan 
I mean, we saw it on Pearl, their insistence of going for the same idea over and over. That breaking of the pattern was how they ended split, so yeah. got to see it soon. Taco feeling some heat, feeling some pressure. He's got the dash proc, and he swings back in. It's been hot, but was looking to make a crazy play. Meanwhile, Leaf with Blade swings out, and it's traded one for one. As Jake's trying to hold the line, Rooney is too. And they've established so much control on the site. Jake, where are you going? He's clearing the flank as... Remember, Zeppa did go down, so those... Alarm bot, that turret is down. It's actually pretty heads up from Jake to do that so cool, fast, but it. they are kind of grouped up right we now. Yeah. Could be dangerous, but Zels is holding a stun. No, actually, he's not. He's looking for the dart. Shy managing standing. to dodge it. Now he's by himself. And boy, he is patient with this one, isn't he? He's just going to play his life, keep the weapon, or at least attempt to. And this is a snowball. Yep. It's one hell of an avalanche. Placing alarm bot. And money's not great for Lydia Tan. They're on a great, I mean, they're on max loss bonus at this point. Remember, the Vitans only won pistol round. They got ecoed right away. That's just crazy. And they've been struggling to come up with some of these ults right now. Finally, we get a breach ult. Astrowall wasn't useful that last round. I really like what Cloud9 did after hitting the seaside so many times. This is a very obvious thing to switch up, but they're also keeping Taco very cold on this map, right? Yeah. There's very little places that he can find ways to get active if he's just locking down that A site every time. So they've gonna, swapped it now, finally. Yeah, they're gonna try to flash and dash him or fault line, bash him, if you will, with the blades. Ooh, love that follow-up. Yeah, he's just not gonna find anything because look at Cod 9 they've already fully taken the space that was vacant on B. Oh, this is scary, though. If they're all on the site, this breach sword could come crazy. Oh, but I think it dodged. I don't think it, it hit Rooney. I don't think it hit Rooney, and I don't think it hit Jake. Oh, that's so good from Cod 9 Jake handled that so well. The two that managed to dodge and clean up massive kills. And so that was two ults invested, right? The Bladestorm and the Rolling Thunder. Yep. Ults that you were just Get talking about, how it's fire. been so labored to get online. Yep. And Cloud9's reaction there is beautiful. I mean, the fact that they're able to get mollies down to protect them while they're all stunned up is crazy. In this... A link over here. You actually had a Molly put down. You actually did see even still the Leviathan players try to rush through that Molly and get some kills while they're stunned up. Taco with a Guardian here. And at least he was tagged by the fault line. There's a trap play potentially here mm -hmm. as they swing. That aftershock could force them out that corner, but they're not quite using it. No, and meanwhile, the drone is going to push King back. The Paranoia will, too. They've lost their main control. And they're going to repeat this. Valen was talking a lot about the global presence of the Astra for Leviathan, but there was no Astra util used there. And that might be because Mazino's very scared of playing off by himself and what the last couple of rounds have actually netted him. The fact that they've left Leaf here allows for him to get a pick, <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. On to Taco, no less. You should run. Shy's going to find it. A cheeky little... Oh, no. Oh! Oh, not able to get the third. C. They're coming in from the backside. Leaf has got... Compl I mean, have they forgotten about him? Yeah, it seems like they have. Nice peek. Just for the info right now. And they're actually not wrapping into C because they're worried about where Mazino is. Instead, they know exactly how King can be played against. And they leave a little present for Mazino, too. Yeah, I, I know it's a tax side haven, but this is... You called it a snowball earlier. You went so far as to call it an avalanche, and and that's exactly what it looks like. Zeno spotting one, but this just this feels very much out of reach. And it's two rounds away from making Tokyo. In the eyes of some, maybe robbed from the opportunity to play on the biggest <laughs> stage, but. Cloud9 now seeming so intent on making it there. And look, 
Aggression again from Taco. The Fnatic strat dash down mid with the dart for him to potentially find something, but they don't find anything. And instead, it's back to C. But it's well handled by Levitan. They're pivoting very quickly to try to short the defense. He believes already ahead of it. It's crazy that Shai's even able to find the courage to go into that when Leaf just mowed down <laughs> yeah, two the, of his teammates. With the stinger. <laughs> And it's crazy to me too that Jake is not even smoking that, and that's on purpose. Yeah, let him fight. Just happy to take the fight against the low eco here. And I was watching owner's body language in the last couple words he had there in that timeout. And he's gonna let him go here for the rest of the half. And Leviathan is at uh, <laughs> complete danger right now. Stun as well. Yeah. Really? Talking about taco in this performance he's had a good series yeah he has he really has yeah. but when cloud nine is just avoiding his sight almost every time and then when they finally do you get absolutely destroyed when leaf is winning those first engagements against you yeah when you've been having the better of him the entire series all of a sudden that's a quick way to revert back into your shell mm -hmm. for somebody who's been lashed and shackled almost all season it feels like That's not a great spot to be in. Mm -hmm. Mentally, in this playoffs, in LCQ, you really thought that you're back into it. Please you remember? You we're, playing we're playing for the end of the season here. This is their yeah. last chance. Taco, tag with the drone. You're not expecting Mazzino here. He plays in the smoke. Very well done. Oh, dodge the stun too. Yeah, but now they know where he is. He's still going to take the fight and find a second. First, the element of surprise, and then the element of audacity. The peek out, the off shot not landing from Taco, and a second swing is ill advised. Spike down. But Shy playing hero right now for Leviathan. Swarm grenade. Clears the nano, swings out into Zeppa, and gets three to get Leviathan their second. There's the adjustment that they talked about in the timeout. Instead of playing deep on site, allowing the execute for Cloud9 to come in, Casino yeah. plays close. And he's you saw it on split how often he is great at playing inside of his own smokes. Gets himself two kills here, almost loses a second. I mean, just perfect for him to dodge all that. Dodge the Aftershock too. Synchronized jumping there. <laughs> it is so bold of him to swing back into that. It's gonna take boldness for Olivia Thun to come back to yeah. it. I think Shai's example there of that peak as well against Zeppa is prime. Into this again, Leaf. He gets stunned up. Ooh, he spotted, he spotted King. Yeah, they're he gonna did. flash him. They're gonna paranoia, they're gonna swing him. The drone is gonna provide some cover for just a moment, a delay of time. It's a temporary play though. As Leaf is very boldly swinging forward. Rooney's there to help, the op from Taco connects. It seemed like he was done. It seemed like he was dead. Deploying drone. Two spotting and they know, you know they're coming for you. Spike down A. Zeppa in a 1v4. I have no idea where Mazzino was. Is Levitan get a third? Is, is four enough? I think if you... That's all, it's hard. I know I'm putting you in a spot. That's a hard question. I, I think if, if you really ramp up the form right now. Yeah. I, I think they had a slow start, right? Taco got online a, a couple kills there. Yeah. Those sorts of things indicate that, yeah, maybe it's enough. As long as they can wipe from their memory what has just happened in terms of that streak. 8-1 is crazy. Yeah. Three they got to get nine. four, though. No yeah, I don't think the 9-3 is going to cut it. Hunter Fury. Jake ulting to get out of it. Try to find a little bit more pressure. Meanwhile, there's a fight across mid. Mazzino trying to find a timing, and he cannot. That's the, you know, I said right it's going to take boldness, but that's the okay. sort of thing that I would label a hero play right there. Jumping through his own smoke when he knows there's a turret on the other side. By himself, no stun, nothing like that. When it's a 5v5 situation, yeah. a minute 20 still on the clock. Yeah, it's a solo play for sure. And on defense, to not have any more controller utility, not have any smokes, not have any delay, anything wow. like that. Nas were able to equalize. That's blind off of the fact that Rooney is droning. So he catches him inside of that. Able to ping him out. Remember here, Levitan have no, no smokes. 
Nothing like that to help push back some of this attack from Cloud9. And Leaf get played and he gets to the flash out. That's a spike, but it's not gonna matter. And Shy was on a mission to try to catch him as they rotate out. So he's not in time to even put his lockdown down. And again, the directive out of that timeout was to try to fight as hard as possible for the site. Must win clutch. And a 1v3. For the, for the season, essentially. Because again, a 9-3 half doesn't really feel great. Oh, there's somebody on the site still. Oh! Not anymore. He's gotten one. But he's got the, the yeah, Leaf is playing in the cubby and he has no idea. Nothing he can really do to consider it either. He just has to check it. He has to swing and it's traded, but Jake's timing is, it could not be any better there. A little bit of a Switching sides. missed opportunity there for him to like peek down short. There was nobody who was gonna be there ever when that lockdown goes down. So he could have isolated that fight against Leaf in that corner. Such a good attempt from some of the Leviathan players, but it all crumbles down when Leaf just gets active like this. Yeah. I mean, it's just the right time. It's a great spot from Jake there once again to trade that back to get Cloud9 to nine. And to put Leviathan in a position where they're they're praying for a miracle. Play against Crew for the final spot at Champions Up for Grabs. While Leviathan sit at the bottom of this outrageous mountain that they're staring up and trying to figure out how do we get back into this? Yep. How do we extend this series? It's just such a big ask. I think Sean is absolutely right about the tools that Leviathan have. It's got to come from King. It's got to come from Taco in this comp. You saw how Leaf was able to get active on that C side on their attack side. Yeah. It's got to be the same thing here. Rooney's going to try to get a dart off, but he might get... Oh, Taco's tucked. They're so close. Do they know? Yeah. Does he know? Oh, he does. How? Gosh, he somehow almost got the kill. His intention was actually to fall off of sight there, but the fact that they walk out, I mean, that's become really a staple of the Thun's attack sides right now. It's working really well in most cases. Well done by Taco to find that timing. You see the fault line, the dash out from Leaf into the smoke. Manages to go by without taking any damage until he swings out and he's instantly dropped. Jake having to take a step back as Zelsis is left alone. Just 44 HP to his name. No fault line, at least not for another 20 seconds. And you can't imagine he's going to be around long enough for that to be the case. Maybe at get a must, what, must win pistol. Oh, absolutely. And it's not even, they're not even out of the wood yet. Yeah. Like Cloud9 yeah. ecoed them in the last time. Cloud9 has ecoed them like three to four times yeah. in this situation, in this series. So yeah, they get their tally up to three pistols total on the series, but this yeah. has been rough for them, rough going. And you talk about the yes. tasks that they have ahead of them. It was actually Cloud9 who's really ramped up any sort of these massive streaks one down on split in the last one. Other than that, it's either been Cloud9 completely stomping or Leviathan with a slight lead. Oh no. That is not a good start. Nope. Rooney with just a sheriff shot. He did get tagged down, 12 HP for him, but Taco gone means that smoke dash combination that we were talking about with King flashing, not available. All the fire, all the go is gone. They've got that alarm about that just got recalled. I literally, as Cloud9, we're starting to approach window. It gets pulled back. And now they're surrounded. You see the dark go up. And Zeno trying to provide some cover with his util. Right here. But this looks brutal. Right planted. They do have a gun, so note shy. And now we both have rifles. They have full rifles here. Oh, and that dark gives up a lot of information. Doesn't get any tags, but that means there's nobody on site. And they've got to be playing either down in dark or in the smokes. Leaf taking a little bit of damage here, has to take a step back. That was the easy kill. Zep on the second, and Leviathan seemed to have stabilized. Leaf from up in heaven with the marshal somehow stays alive. Boss Elsis gets another kill. Both rifles still in play for the attack side, though. And it seems like that will continue to be the case as Leviathan get five. Putting a couple rounds together is key. 
It's a gutsy call to invest for two rifles there after winning the pistol, but that sets up a really nice bonus opportunity here. And it's also interesting because it's not what they've been going for yeah. traditionally yeah, in this series so far. When they win the pistol, they've been going for those stingers, they've been going for specters. That's a gamble for sure. It's, it's a risk. It's been a lot more like the Cloud Nine buys. Mm -hmm. A risk indeed. But they've got to take risks. That's what happens when you start Haven down 8-1. You've dug yourself a hole, and it's only risks that are going to get you back into it. But they've got to be able to convert on this bonus for it to be worthwhile. Cloud9 has taken so much space down A short, too. And with that smoke, it's going to be difficult to take it back other than spending your drone from now as we're here. And Zelsus hasn't even used his fault line yet. Oh. They're taking the fight, and that drone gets canceled very early. No challenge. Ooh, Still started. no fault line. Nice. Oh, no, he dies. And Nazar with another first pick as well. No, we were talking about this in between maps. As if Leviathan continue to pile on these these first kills, that will catch up to COD Nine. They flipped the script though. Feeling on this map, yeah. On this map. That's why it hasn't been such a focus? Elsa's with that fault line still held. There's the dash. Things starting to work out here for Leviathan. They're up big on numbers. We mentioned this was a bonus they desperately needed to convert to get back into this. I think Are one they thing that's... Safe? Yeah, they're instant saving. You, you already see Zeppa putting down that turret. And I think Leviathan, what we've been seeing is a lot of that walk, that dry walk up, no smoke type of execute. And it's been working really well. And it's such a shift in what you've actually expected from Leviathan because they used to be a really exec heavy team. It used to be a team that would never, ever do anything different than those sorts of XX. Protocol focused. And are they really going to take down all these guns? Looks like it. It's just Zeppa who's left. He needs the turret to provide a little bit of cover. And I can't tell how much time is left on the spike. So, oh, there it is. It goes off. He is going to get challenged a second there. And there it goes. All rifles fall while Leviathan keep four. And they've gotten it down to three already. What a start to this half. Trying to replicate what Cloud9 did to them. And yeah, it's going to be time to bring in the coach. Uh, night, night. And you're calling out Celsus there, not using his stun for so long, thinking that there might be an opportunity for Leaf to get aggressive with it. But then, when Leaf gets into trouble, he still doesn't national tournaments by one series every single time. In the last three Let's go. attempts. And that sort of thing creeps back up. Able to break through that mental block is how you actually achieve things like this. A tournament where only one team can make it through. It's crazy. It's all about who's hot, and Cloud9 have been hot up until this point. They've gotten this far. A great opener for Taco, and remember, this is a light buy for Cloud9. No charges left. I believe Rooney just had a sheriff. Jake taking some damage. You see Leaf, whose timing could not have possibly been worse. <laughs> Shy's gonna be able to clean him up for free. Ooh. He Never still mind. got him. Yeah, Leaf just turned on him. That was gross. And so did Jake on the Taco. Motion here. 3v3, look at Mazzino on the flank. But Leaf is ready for it. He's got a weapon. He's calling right there, looking at the mini-map. Yep. You are divided! Cosmic divide, he's ahead of it all! Nasworth with two, Leviathan with seven. They demand a fight. I mean, if you're MCE after that timeout, you're not hurting that hard after seeing that. They get a couple kills on that, e that eco. Now back up to the gun round. This is the big moment. This is the big round. Is Leviathan gonna bring this back within one? And are they going to make the possibilities of a reverse sweep a reality? That might be the most animated I've ever seen Nosworth. <laughs> Revealing area. Often so chill, but a massive pop off from him. I mean, this is crazy too from Livia Thun. I mean, we've been talking a lot about the mind, but now back to the strategy. They've been really focused on the safe side and yeah. Cloud9 have been making minor adjustments. Here might be a big trap. Jake has his paranoia, Zelsus with his fault line. The staying power from Leaf here is insane. Where's the goal from Cloud9? We've seen so many times them push the pace up in the A lobby. 
Yeah, it's just not happening yet. I mean, through that, you'd even expect Zelsus, is who you just now see with the you fault line up. Given the position Leaf was in, Ops to hold it. There's a paranoia too, and that's gonna buy plenty of time. That's gonna delay. But the lockdown dropped. And a good break there. Shocks and aftershock. And they keep him off from pushing. There's the dart in. If you done, it's gonna regroup behind it again. Two players still holding on to the A lobby. If they can spring that alarm bot, that might spring for Cloud9 to go forward. They're going to do it anyways, and Mazzino's so ready to receive. That's another opener for Leviathan. Jake, was he spotted? Surely not. Taco was disciplined in the previous round. Remember, he checked the right side as he walked in through A long. Will he do it here? You talked about how this was the ever pivotal gun round, and this has gone in favor of Leviathan as well. Possibly in flawless fashion, no less. This half has been a collapse from Cloud9. Strategically, too, I mean, they're, uh, they're completely focused on the lockdown that they don't spring the trap opportunity that they had. And Leaf is just consistently getting left to play for himself. And last time they lost all the guns, is Leviathan going to be able to take down Zeppa again? Almost certainly. Nobody even on the spike site. It's down to one. And the money is in shambles for the defensive side. I talked up on Split about how it was really, really late coming. For a lot, actually, it was on this map for Leviathan. A lot of ults taking forever to get online. It's yeah. the same situation now for Cloud9. Yeah. Where is that lockdown? Where is the breach ult? These are the questions I start to ask when we reach round seven and we don't see them. Fight while handled by Mazzino to get the final rifle out of their hands. Oh, wow. It's interesting, too, when you think about the first half usage of that timeout from owner as well, where he used it late in that dominated half and just trust them to continue on that half and bring it back to 9 3. Remember, they were down 8 1 yeah. at that down. point in time. Bomb grenade out. I don't know that they've really done this, as far as I can remember. No, 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 they've gone A every round almost. Yeah, and they're going to waltz into C for free. Oh, look at Shy's position. They've baited them so well. He's set up for a disgusting round right now. But can he get the kills? And is he even going to find the timing? Falls off right when they come through. Patience is a virtue. How long will he stay? They did break that turret, so he knows that there's somewhere there. Jake has ult. You imagine the timing on it is going to be everything. Well handled by Shy. That was the only rifle to the Guardian gone from Jake. Taco playing far back. Now Leaf looking to put the round on his back by himself. He's going to upgrade a weapon. There's so old to get him out. No, I thought there was three players still. No way you go for it now. No, this not at this situation. They know where Leaf is. The flash, he has to turn it. He's dropped. I can't freaking believe I'm saying this, but we're tied at nine. What a comeback from Leviathan so far. But there it is, finally. Full house of ults for Cloud9. This is what they've been waiting for for so long. Problem is, you gotta start deciding, right? You can't just throw them all out at this point. And as well, for Leviathan, it is a tough situation to be in because remember on Split on that attack side, they were working so hard at baiting out many of those ults. Yeah. They don't have the bandwidth, the leeway to do that. And it's so difficult now to even think about where the opportunities to use these ults are when there's so many online. Insta ult from Rooney with the dart out. Doesn't tag anybody. Yeah, his heart, his heart got cleared and he almost finds Mazzino on the opposite side of the map. I mean, but that's one guard immediately. Yeah, Leaf has his ult, or excuse me, off on mine too. Keep a close eye on that. I believe that's the first stop he's had this half. Take They're going to hit this B side. There's nobody here right now. Celsus I mean, has his rolling thunder and he is close by. Yeah. And Cloud9 are really overcompensating on both sides of the map now. They're committing to this ult. I thought he might hold it just to tap to draw something out, but no. What is this lockdown too? It is holding on to A link. But there's no pressure being applied on the extremities. And it does force them kind of off this. You're right though. I Leviathan are happy to hold this. Reach hold does get almost everybody in mid right now. The paranoia, but look at Mazzino on the flank. Keep a close eye on him towards C as the fight ensues at double doors. One for one. And there it is, Mazzino on it, but he was reloading. He had the timing. Two for two. The tap on it. 
and it's just daring the spam. There's the shock dart on the first. It's gonna push it off. Leaf made it to get it halfway there. Zelsus on the swing cannot connect. Leaf with one HP and the op in a situation like that cannot deliver. Leviathan takes the lead. Cloud9 have still not won a single round this half. And four ults used. I talked about how you can't just spring them all. Everybody there, I mean, you could see from the instant that this round started. And this is part of the reason why I'm skeptical about calling all your timeouts that quick. Yeah. Because it's one of these rounds where you can use that real good coordination. And everybody, Rooney went for a play. Seppa puts down his lockdown immediately. The pre trump was the only one that I'm like, okay, this one is, you know, it's good. They're pushing down. Yeah. Together. Cloud9, I mean, they're going to need one of these Ecos at some point here to keep this competitive. The Vietnam look like they're going to roll straight through this defensive side from them. It's so strange to see them struggle because like Valen was talking about on the desk, Cloud9 have looked like the best team on this comp and we're not seeing any of that gusto, any of that aggression in a lobby that could have been so useful. Meanwhile, Leviathan just seemed like an unstoppable force right now. And they're twisting the knife too on some of these calls. Yeah. It was like six rounds in a row towards the A side and now every single round towards C or B. The calling has been phenomenal. Once again, they revisit B. Less of a focus on fighting for A and C control this time around. And Jake has taken a lot of space. But they've got them all huddled up. Uh. They're still decent. I mean, King still has some utility for post-plant spams, things like that. Mazino's in a really good spot where you can't imagine that's expected, but Rooney still drops him. Comes Jake. Jake in a really good spot here. That lost though. Yeah. I mean, there's just... There's not much you can do there. This run from Neviathan, and it's, it's actually insane. I think about something you were saying at the beginning of the half where you said it, it was Cloud9 who'd been putting on these insane streaks. And while Neviathan had just kind of like pittered and pattered their way through the series round here, around there, but this run has been absurd. Yep. I really thought once we went 2-0, that the dream of a Latam v Latam El Clasico in the final to qualify for champions was out of reach. Cloud9 looked in great form. But I just think back to what MC was saying after the loss against Curve. They were choking. This might not be it though. Jake with the first kill. It feels like in forever for Cloud9. And they've slowed this hit on the B site finally. Taco was going in so aggressive, trying to find a timing in the drone, but Zeppo was waiting. Now down Listen, numbers. If he scoped here, this might be real hard for him to see Mazzino right now. Well, he oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, what? Still hits it. Talk about needing to see that again. Before we get there, though, Shad's left in a 1v2. He doesn't have the spike. The onus is on him, and there's someone close. <laughs> Zelsus takes care of him. Cloud9 are not done. Holy moly. All right, now let me see the replay. G give me the leaf shot again. I mean, you could see the... the <laughs> Fantastic observing on swapping between Leaf's POV and Mazzino's oh, yeah. POV. Because 100%, I think, well, he was sculpted. He couldn't see the bottom of the screen no, there. No, no. Just crazy. And finally, you're seeing a first kill come in favor of Cloud9. That's like the first in a while. Oh, my God. It's just her hair. Meanwhile, through this, through all this craziness, Shy has dropped 30. <laughs> He's currently two kills away from breaking the record in the Americas for most kills in a map. That's a big one. You see the Rolling Thunder out. Taco's already behind it. Well handled. He's still so far up close and he gets it with the judge. Just crazy. How has Jake got this position? Doesn't matter. Mazzino cleans him up. No. Leaf trying to keep the op. You see Taco. He must keep the op. Look at the economy right now for Cloud9. You've got three players who are nowhere near being able to buy. I feel like we've said that so many times just this half. They've got to keep weapons. They've got to keep weapons. They've got to keep weapons. And it's interesting that Lev is not chasing right now. Obviously, it's a 1v3. Very, very doable for Leaf. 
What are they waiting for? King is all or King is, is a fault line. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's fantastic play, but he gets away anyways. Yeah. The bunny hop through it is really nice. Mazino's gonna be there though. Mazino's gonna find him. He hears that. No way, how is he still alive? How has he gotten away? He's playing a surf map. This feels like <laughs> watching a minigame ensue. He's gonna survive! I mean, that is just that crazy. Is but Houdini the up into the next round. The great escape. Pull it out of a hat. And all of a sudden, I'm thinking this is this is actually doable. Yes, there's two players with sheriffs. <laughs> but he's able to drop a phantom. And we've got Breach Ult online. Yeah, but uh, oh, the, the problem has never been the weaponry. I think because Cloud9 have had gun rounds, they've had their chances. This has been come from here. Yeah. Yeah, one OT, sure. sometimes seven OTs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how Livia. He's, oh. he's gonna get challenged. He's gonna get challenged! Oh, he's the shot! Asheroth, too, he gets stunned up. Leaf is just not having a good time. Dude, you could tell he wanted to peek ahead of that wall, too. And he has no chance to do it anymore. His dash went away. Here. Taco jump spotting to make sure that Leaf wasn't back there. Here. I don't think it hit anybody. He's gonna try to push ahead of it anyway. The frenzy from that distance deals some damage, but not the devastating death blow it needed to be. King with the second. Oh my gosh. Finally settles the op and a phantom in the hands of Rooney. And so far, so good, but it is not enough. One map to decide it all. And let me not take us to map five. In favor of Cloud9, but holy smokes, are let me an awakened beast. At least they've been in this tournament. Now we find freaking Taco on the chamber. There's so much history to that. Mimi alluded to it on the desk. A, an agent that defined his career, that made Taco what he is now. Oh, look at this. Leviathan relying on some very standard stuff. There. Just replacing the harbor. Or the Viper with the harbor here. Throwing up a lurk wall, and it lasts a lot longer than that Viper wall lurks. It's interesting, too, the way they chose to do that because they cascaded in front of it leaving a pocket where somebody could have been, but they walked their way through it. Taco tried finding space, but Leaf's patience pays off. Oh, what the heck is that? And that was bold. That was aggressive. It looked like Dread hitting him in the face with the paint shells. Shy on the swing gets cleaned up. A 1v1, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Rooney's going to be rotating from B, and he's going to be late to the party. Oh, and he has no util with him, doesn't even have the cam, which could be a blessing and a curse. Ooh. So he won't have to give up his position. Bold from Azino to try to fill in U-Haul there. Yeah, but he has to worry about short too, because remember, Taco died very yeah. early. That trip is completely inactive. Nine bullets on the classic. All this time gave Rooney to get back sight. He's got a cascade and a high tide. A little bit of indecision is Rooney also has to meticulously check every single corner. That's around. Rooney's gotten it to half. Is he going to pull off? Oh, he's going to keep it all the way, and the first right click missed, but the second did not. Oh, my goodness. And I'm not even sure if, if Rooney tucked a little bit farther deep. Yeah, he may have had more time. He might have had space to stick yeah. there. Eventually, Mazzino would have realized and gone deep for that. Either way, Leviathan with the pistol again. It was crucial for them to get that one in the second half of Haven. They got both on Haven as well. Dude, Mazzino took a ton of damage there on that. He got down to 13 HP. <laughs> I didn't even realize Rooney got a shot up. Yeah. And we're going for two Bulldogs here. I mean, they've shifted up the buys so significantly. Oh, look at this Viper wall out from Cloud9 here. Oftentimes, you'll see it a little bit further south in order to block the exit out of Hookah and to block Octagon. But it's much deeper towards site here. Right there. We'll keep a close eye on how they choose to continue to play those walls. Meanwhile, for Levitan, you see the same harbor wall that we saw in the previous round. The fact that you can't really cycle that high tide and cascade combination that acts the same way as that viper wall orb combination. Thanks their options limited. But you can tell they're really set up for anti-eco right now, sitting outside a bathroom, waiting for a pick, that works. waiting for a peek, trying to get information whether cloud Nine's going to do anything. They stayed on the other side of the map for quite a while. Now they move forward. Remember they tried contacting up showers in the previous round and taco got dropped this time they're finding so much more space the high flash and that nade is going to dissuade just for a little bit leaf on the angle once more with the marshal not connecting either shot and jake is much worse for wear just takes so much damage seems like this should be another clean 
stay with that round unless Cloud9 can win one of those vintage thrifty rounds. It's eluded them so much on Haven. And it does not look like it's gonna be the case here. Zelfs is left to try to make the play, and he cannot. A flawless round from Navian. I think Cloud9's gotta be really, really unhappy about what side they're starting on here, because this is where it all fell apart on Haven as well. Mm. And I think they lost a lot of their firepower on that defense in terms of these eco rounds. You're asking them right now to be put in the position to play a full best of five. And they made a massive gamble at the beginning of the day by banning Fracture instead of Bind. Yep. You mentioned how Cloud9 has been really avoiding this since that EG series in playoffs. Leviathan's not been forced to this map, but they've not been avoiding it either. They've been floating it the entire time. Oh, they gotta be careful here. They tried setting up a trap, a crunch on back showers, but they're gonna okay. be overwhelmed by what Leviathan are throwing up long. Look at how far back Cloud9 have to go. Got pushed behind. Well, trip catches him, but the spam forced him off before he could do anything with it. There is another, that's what weird. Is that trip? Look at how far up Nazar is too. Does he dare go? The flash is actually towards Elba. So there's nothing for him to entry in. He's just gonna wait. Playing ahead of the cage, very well done. To pop in, but Leaf just plays it better. So nicely considered. King's transfer's clean. Namazina with the orb to buy some cover and buy some space while handled by Zeppa. Just two remaining for Leviathan. Make that one, Mazzino cannot hold it. Cloud9 are on the board. And that orb, the cove actually made it really difficult for him to play around. It gives yeah. so much room for Cloud9 to duck in and out. If he was inside of it, it would have been a different story, but that's a good anti-bonus from Cloud9. Not something they were able to succeed on at Haven. And Leaf, twice now he wins the fight against Taco who's going to consistently be looking to take battles and side of showers there. And you have to be winning those early before Taco starts to consider opping on that attack side, before he gets his tour de force online. Because then he'll start getting the advantage in that situation. You're going to have to start considering just walling him off entirely. Or smoking him off. King and Shy both one point away from having very important ults online on the attack side. And look, they're posted to try to get another one. That's why they're using an entire ult to get bathroom control right now so that they can get an orb over I've towards Shy like you called up. There's the Seekers funneling out. And with that, Leviathan follow. Taco's getting the opener already. They fully taken control of sight. Zelsus, or excuse me, Rooney's still playing towards B, just now starting to rotate over. Spike planted. Oh, he's forward in front of it. Oh, of course he is. But Mazzino's there to greet. Jesus. You're thinking that he gets ahead of that cascade and all of a sudden he's in a good position, but he yeah. doesn't care at all. Oh, well, they found the judge. And now all they need to do is look from a distance at this Vandal. And you hear Nasr satcheling up towards heaven. Rooney understanding there's pressure from all sides. Oh, uh, and he just triggered the trap as well inside of Hookah. You're right, Nasr satchel up there. So easy to pinch in. And King did not need to spend his orbital strike because the kills came in so fast. Yeah. Taco getting the opener and then another kill backside. That's before you even have Mazzino getting those two in the middle of all that. You can use that sky ult though. Yeah. We talked a lot about Taco and for good reason in this series. We talked a ton about King in the previous series and yeah. for good reason as well. Mazzino has quietly put together a very impressive two series back to back here. And when you when you talk about, you know, whoa, the difficulty and the mental struggles that require or that are almost a given in a best of five series like this. Yeah. He was a guy who was getting punted at a reverse sweep. It's even rarer that it happens. Yeah. We have a lot of best of fives in the circuit. Bloody death. And the attempts have only come six times. Deep flash getting some info for Zeppa. You see the buy for Cloud9 isn't great. I'm looking for the adjustment here from Cloud9. They've swapped the Viper wall over towards the bathroom side. Mm -hmm. But Rooney was always playing on this B side. He just usually had a, a, a strange wall to help him out, kind of behind his trips, so that maybe you can get some kills off of the trips, but it's just not happened yet for them. Oh. 
Pretty Ta sure he was still walking it. backwards when he hit that shot. And Taco's doing that without his TP. It was on cooldown because he pulled it back. As he watched for other pushes. Now he's posted up into a great post plant position. Yep. With that TP that you're just mentioning. Came up online. You see Leaf close by with the shorty. If I see them invested here, I don't uh, think they they're will. not going to. No. But uh, it's not, you know, it's. Yeah, it's, it's not out of the realms of possible with Cloud9. You're right. Cloud9 oh. just go for it so often. Is that the second flawless round for Louis Dunn in, in, what, five rounds that we've played? Yep. Yeah, this is, I mean, again, to bring it back to the veto discussion, they took a big risk by banning out Fracture early to try to get the map pool lopsided in their favor in yeah. the beginning of this. And I think that was yeah. a great strategy. But when, yeah. it, when it falls apart in the last moments, I mean, the conversation after map four must have been like, oh, this, I'm sorry for this veto. Like, this has gone, yeah. this is possibly the worst situation you could end up in because Cloud9, you look at it on paper, you think maybe they needed to go in and win it in four. That was the same tether setup that Taco had from the previous round, and the kills are so carefully considered across short. This is a gun round, and they're going for a push through their own orb there. Nas were investing the ult, and I don't think he's going to find anything here. You hear it shot off towards Lamps, the nade there too, to make sure no one's ahead of it. It's just a guarantee that nobody else is pushing up against it. And, and Zelsa tried finding time on the other side of the nade, but Nas were considered it too. Still 3v2 in favor of time. This has gotten close. Oh. This is a 2v2 now. Cloud9 snatch it back. I think Leviathan thought they won the round already when they got those first two kills. Yeah, I agree completely. But it's still the same situation that is unfolding throughout the entire series. Where Leviathan getting those first kills and then losing 5v3s, 5v4s, 5v2s in some cases. Taka well ahead of it. It was traded too after another kill went down short and then Oswald with another, but Rooney and Zeppa with a massive close to the round. And yeah, the fact that Rooney gets all the way out there in front of Truck yeah. catches you King completely play, by surprise. Play. And so we see the first ult from Taco. What a rising. We'll see if it gets challenged at all. He's dueling down short again. I mean, he's been having such success with the Vandal. Oh, Mazzino. Well, it's interesting that Mazzino's taking that position instead of Taco when he has his ult up. Instead, he walks all the way up with the harbor wall. Oh, that's going to give everything away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and tough to work from here. They still got a minute left, so they can definitely continue to work the map. But this is the opportunity right now for Cloud9 to go for some extra space. And they've taken some. They have full showers control. Caution here. Jake is posted up there. At least he's got satchels. He can get away from this. That's not going to feel good. Yep. Oh, almost gets a second, but Zeppa's there to help. And that's a situation where your Viper's on the other side of the map, not really knowing exactly what's going on. If he was closer, he might have been able to put that wall up in time for Leaf to get out. Instead, he's left alone seconds, again. Yeah. We saw it so many times on Haven. 25 seconds, though. It's interesting. King has had this orbital strike for a little while. Taco's actually potentially going to get alert through. If they can get this plant, stay alive. They're going to flip the map, but it's too late. It's and too they late. don't have showers control. Yeah, Jake's still here. They're going to go knife out in this. They never considered this. <gasps> no way. Oh and we talked about it at what, halfway through the round. Jake had taken showers control and just never gave it up. Another huge play from the youngster. At the beginning of the series, he was incredibly good. Yeah. We, we were singing his praises for his lurks, singing his praises for his patience, able to contain lurks in most cases. And here he is again, maybe injecting some life Ten by just holding left. firm. One enemy yes. remaining. You mentioned King and his ult, how off, how long he's had it. I mean, we're talking round four when they went for that Seeker execute. Now, is he really trying to faint that he's going through this when there's a pit up? That's a pretty crazy proposition and question asked.
of Cloud9 are you going to actually respect this? And they will. Look at this. They're spending a dog to get through it. But losing Zelsus would be terrible. So they take the precautions. I wonder if they use the Teleport's orbital right. strike to challenge the pit. Yeah, with somebody walking in the front of it, something yeah. like that could definitely do it. But without confirmation exactly where, it's so tough to make a call like that. It's very difficult. I like that Taco's been really playing by himself, but I love this wall against the chamber. It's doing such a good job at just denying the opportunity for picks like this. Ooh. Getting away, but having to do so via the teleport. Oh, they split the side on the other side. A very unconventional high tide. A lot of space given to the backside. They could easily swing through this, though. Oh, that cosmic divide. They're already ahead of it all. And you still have Mazino, who's waiting in short. They can take a step back, but they can't step back too far! Jake with another massive round for Cloud9! Cloud9 looking to tie this up unless Mizuno can pull off a 1v, what, 4? The spam through as Zeppa's gotten it to half. He has to take a step back, and Zeppa's gonna take it the entire way. We're tied up. What a round from Jake! I feel like I'm getting tired of saying that. <laughs> He's had so many! Thinking back to so many of the early maps, it's that injection that you really need. I love this. It's a very strange Astro Wall, by the way. You called out how they're already ahead of it. It's kind of threatening that there's going to be people playing in cubbies yeah. or actually completely isolating the players who are in bench, forcing them to swing through against you. But Leviathan just doesn't even care about it. They don't even consider playing back there. The entire time, and still, now we've got the Harbor Bolt, we've got the Brim Bolt still. This is a combination that could definitely do work. Yeah, I really want to see a pop, and there it is. The Orbital Strike, but the problem is, it, back. it delays the push! It delays the push and leaves us able to hold his ground! It gets traded, yes! But how much more can they find? Zeppa swinging ahead of it. He's found a ratty little corner! And destroys Taco for it. Zeppa still looking to deal damage and cannot. But Cloud9 with the numbers. And Leviathan left with questions. Well, Leviathan started strong on this map. To me, in these last couple of rounds, it feels like they've reverted to Scrim Leviathan, where they're just constantly going for same idea, same idea, not really trying to counter out, for example, this Viper Wall that's being placed down. It's so unique. Just going across the middle of the site, normally you're blocking, blocking Hookah Window, you're blocking the long walk out. It's so unique. And it's, it's forcing Leviathan in situations that they're really uncomfortable with. You can tell. 30 seconds left. It's caused fits. They hear the cam. The deep flash. Do they even manage to get the spike down? There's no one really covering. Oh, but there's no challenge from Cloud9. Wow. There was a threat. The cage. Maybe Rooney pushes into it, but never comes. Oh, King gets into the middle of it. If that pops, yeah, you're not going to hear the cue that he gets in. They were waiting for Zalsus now regrouping back towards it. King, meanwhile, has completely cleared that elbow push. They have to play ahead of the wall, too, because of where Zalsus is. He's still alive. He's got him, too. But Zalsus is there to save it. King looked cold for a second there, man. I thought he was going to do it. I've seen clutches from that same position yep. so many times. It's really tough to actually swing through that choke. Synchronized, so it's one by one so often. You don't have enough room to really... It's the fact that this Viper wall is still pesky towards B and they haven't really found out how to navigate through it. And Zelsus, or excuse me, Rooney, done that twice now. <laughs> Rooney continues to set up his utility ahead of it. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You have to clear the Cypher util. You can't get caught by it, but at the same time, you want to be walking behind that wall. The problem is they could drop it at any time. So yeah. once, once you walk behind it, you find yourself in a position where you're on a timer and you have no clue when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I want to see them take elbow control from that, though. I mean, they have the tools. Yeah. Out of the timeouts, the same call. High tide down short. Try to threaten the lurk. See if we can get, if Nazor can get that orb. That will have a showstopper online. He's got the nade and two satchels to work with. There's the orb. The thing is, they can't easily flip here. They don't have showers control. Some of the time when you watch players be completely on this lurk roll, on this bathroom control, 
solo. Yeah. You see them start to gain confidence. Taco's not really fighting as aggressively as some of the other players that we've seen completely take over games like that. Mm -hmm. Right there. I think of, you know, Alfier at to or, uh, Tokyo just dominating down that lane. Here's the ult that you were talking about. Way high. <gasps> And he catches him while trying to escape. I thought Leaf was going to get away. Jake repositioning. He's feeling the pressure in from showers. Taco has to make a play, and he cannot. Is it another vintage Jake round right now? No, Mazzino stopping it dead in its tracks. Number still for the attacking side, though. A position to tie things up here, but Zelsis has gone unchecked. He's gone unconsidered. And the Cove is protecting him for now. Does he dare push ahead of the smoke? Flash yet from Zeppa. Looks like that's what they're waiting for for a cooldown to come back. It's way away. Yeah, how patient are they going to be? They can't wait for it. They have to go ahead of it. Rudy's like dropped from up in heaven. Mazzino gets the second, and now Zelsus has to make the play happen on his own. He's taking care of one, but he has so many more to consider. And he's calling the round. Leviathan have tied us at five. <laughs> Right out of the timeout. <laughs> the good call, though, to go for the orb play first. And then ah. the mechanics from Nasr to land the shot on to leave. Yeah, I mean, the patience. Yeah. He was satcheling out of there. He. That's a difficult shot to hit on the fly. And the height that he got in the first place. Yeah. I love the wide shot. Look at this. Flash over, showstopper out, leave. Here's his time. And when you get so high, it's like impossible to miss. That lands on top of the truck, by the way. What a shot. And it also, you got to commend Leaf for having the, the quick reaction to even get that far away. Yeah. Remember, he had made out when that ult started. Well, also, I will, would like to continue to point out the fact that he's again left in these situations where he has to react so hard. Yeah. A little Roomba on Roomba action. Destroying one another. Don't show that to the AIs. <laughs> Showers has just been such tough treading for Livia then. And look, it's got the possession, the potential to be that again. Nas were trying to swing ahead of it, the nade. But you haven't considered the other side. Oh, they know. Oh. Leaf is so dead. It's again. Yeah. Same exact situation. Meanwhile, Levitan have taken a lot of control down B. And Zeppa's trying to play ahead of this right now. They might have information. That's King and Taco playing super passive. Oh. Look at this. Instantly as they walk away, it looks like Cloud9 got information as they walk down short behind them. There's going to be a huge pinch if they're fast enough. And there's nothing to consider. Taco doesn't have a trip down. If Zeppa gets one, that flank is going to come super fast. He doesn't get it, though. They go off of this. They're stimmy. They're healed. They're yeah. flashing out. The sight is theirs. But they have no idea where the flank is. Look at the trip, And King though. has the trick in. <laughs> Good awareness, man. Confirming his suspicions and staying alive with it. They have the Reckoning and the Orbital Strike, too. Only one spotted. And this trip doesn't really gain even more information. Yeah. Now they do know it's both on the flank. That's why Zomazino put that wall up and the smoke back towards spawn. But now understanding that everything is ahead of them, everything is before them. King still playing up in Hookah. Jake trying to funnel out. They really? invest the Orbital Strike. Yeah, and an interesting moment, but it secures the round. It gets Leviathan the lead. Yeah, it secures the round. It also gets them Last without losing more. Yeah. Hey, King can play very selfish there, and he can yeah. secure the round in any case, 100%. Not not 100%, but like very guaranteed in that in yeah. any situation that comes through just because he has that orbital strike. But the choice he makes here, it's a risk because it's used before anything happens. Yeah. It's a risk because you don't guarantee that there's value there. Yep. Played in round in a what, 3v2? You make it so that it's easy for you to play with your team there. Sure. And they still keep Mazzino's Reckoning on mine. Different Viper wall. Oh, the flash down long. Time to swing. Oh, huge out from Leaf. They were expecting that deep flash from long, and you where you see the setup. Mazzino trying to get past it, though. He's ahead of it. He's got that Reckoning. They're going to exact onto this. There are three members of Cloud9 here, what? and they're all going to hold the line. Mazzino can do something about it, and he does. Still, the Cloud9 players, despite getting stunned up there by that Reckoning, able to make this a 2v2 somehow. So two players coming from spawn, still doable. The pesky cam lighting up. Shy, and in the face of that, he gets a kill on his oh, ulcers anyway. But Rooney as, with the Sheriff. As his ult, he could pop it for info on where Mazzino is. But he's patient. Mazzino wraps around and gets Leviathan to seven. 
That's the half. So quick, it feels like. Switching sides. We've been here for almost five hours. And this one goes by in a flash. And Leviathan's in the lead, but narrowly. Unreal. Just two rounds. We're going to take a look at that split, yep. if we're being honest. Unfortunately, a whimper from the Cloud9 faithful in the crowd, and <laughs> that feels like that's... Uh-oh. That's not quite right, is it? I don't know where that orb was intended to go, but it wasn't intended to go there. Little trap play here set up. Taka's going to take first down. contact. If they do end up going down long, a flash will come through with an aid from Nosworr, and they'll swing together, Nosworr and Shy, while Taco gets out to safe harbor. And Trip covers Uka as well. How does Cloud9 read this situation? Leaf has been so good at that exact task. Oh, mm. missed flash there. Yeah, that leaf that didn't make it up into Uka. Either way, the, the information wouldn't have been there. They duck, ducked away from it. And they're actually returning back towards A with that recalled smoke from Jake. That might be a cue. Flash through bathroom gets no info, though. And it's a false sense of info, too, because you see Jake is starting to fill behind that space. Also, the cam from Rooney confirms that there's nothing that's been pushed up through showers, so they know they have that space they can play through. Love this from Mazzino. Had an opportunity to use the high tide. He waits until his team starts rotating. The nade onto Jake is perfect. He's left. not able to clean anything up behind it either. And they're going to flip. The guy is here. And he's playing the safe. He knows. He knows that Cloud9 are coming for him. Oh, and his position's given away. That flash is great, but he's got a flash of his own off the swing. He's not able to find anything. Wall handled by Zeppa. 12 seconds, though. They're swinging. They're flooding. Can they do it? Mazzino keeping him back. Mazzino with three and another round for Leviathan. Both pistols in the book. Here for Leviathan. And my oh my have everything switched. As we started the series, it was like, no pistols going Leviathan's way. The eco's not really working. All of a sudden, here they are, up, big. As we start this second half in the final half. Yeah, Jake had no shot in that position. Was there a final flash there to confirm his position? I believe so, yeah. It must have, it must have come through. That's why that nade is so perfect. Insta wall, Mazzino did that on the pistol as well. It's so difficult to get through with, unless there's there's a lot of go behind it, and that's just not the case. Well handled by King, the nade to provide some cover. That's that's really pretty out of there, then. Cloud9 will likely find themselves down four rounds on the other side of this. Although it is a sheriff in the hands of Rooney and in the hands of Zeppa. So it's certainly not all done. But Leviathan in a position to have a huge lead here if they can close this out. Are we watching a replay right now? What's going on? <laughs> it's like we've seen this before for sure. And if nothing else, they get some plant money. Yes. And that's crucial. A lot yeah. of people did buy up sheriffs. I mean, Leviathan strat maybe. Yeah, smoke's coming out, Zappa. He's stuck in a real tough position. I mean, the round is a real tough position for the ones that remain on Cloud9 to begin with. I think a really good ind indicator of Cloud9's success is obviously winning Ecos, right? I'm not saying that they should win every single one, but their performance on the Ecos that they don't win as well. I think yeah, I agree. if somebody looked into that, you might end up finding an on-form Cloud9 is one that's really making these situations super close. And it's just not even, not even that. It's the very... Enemy remaining. That's three. Passive attempt to go through that smoke. No flash, nothing like that. King is just standing on the angle. Nals were ready to nade too. And that huge round from King, it started off with what? Three kills he got and an orb has him, gave him his orbital strike in the third round of the half. We talked about how he was a bit, mm, perhaps skittish on wanting to use it in the first half, but this early on defense is a different story. Leaf still getting the best of Taco though. Yeah, it's been back and forth between the two in the first half. Well, Nals were having Telly to get out. Yeah, no that shy alone. Side, yeah. Whoa. Leaf managing to clean it up. Not without taking a considerable amount of damage, though, but you see the difference in the rifles in the hands of Cloud9. Look at this pace. I mean, they just completely ripped apart that setup. Yeah. 
That Leviathan had on the pistol as well. Remember, it was the same thing. I mentioned how Taco's going to play STP. He gets ripped before even getting into position. That pace is something Cloud9 can rely on to maybe get them some momentum back here. King and Nasworth need to try to do some damage here. There's just really no way for them to get in. Yeah, it's interesting. Looks like there's... The die to the spike? Die to the spike, yeah. I mean, there are a pe couple people close. Zappa, for example. Leaf with two kills could... Yeah, you don't want to yeah. give him any ults, but yeah. at the same time, this is their first big buy here from Cloud9, yep. right? Yep. So... And here's Sliggy talk about this all the time with Liviathan. It's like... They never go for just a few kills. And they end up doing things like this. Obviously, they don't fully save, but it allows Cloud9 to start snowballing that bank just a little bit. Exactly. Just a crack in the window. It's a small one. But we've seen how momentum-driven this series has been. I mean, you think through even individual maps and how streaks have really just kind of gotten us to this point. They've dictated the series. Also, what a massive round from Leaf. Yes. The face of the flash, diffing Taco, and then getting a second on site. Yes. Given the struggles he has, and look at this. In the last Double satchel minutes. coming in. Wait, there's going to be presence on the other side. A flash through as well. Leaf is way deep. The nade to... Di oh, well handled. Okay. Very well handled, and they're going to swing for a second. There's a smoke there. The ult. They're going to get out. Just barely. Jake with 45 HP manages to stay alive. And you can't imagine he's going to re-hit through here. Maybe that shot from Jake confirms it. They just walked dry up short, by the way. No Viper wall oh, at all. They know. Uh, that's a spike, by the way. He's he's there by himself. But if there's enough pressure, if there's enough kills in space and Cloud9 can find on A through sight, there's room for Jake to work, but they both fall. I mean, look how methodically they just took him down there. That's crazy. I mean, he's been stuck inside the portal by yeah. himself almost the entire round, and now so he comes back out. He tucked in there when the Trailblazer came through to yes. try to spot him, yeah. Nobody Comes back out after this. the bombs have dropped and his entire team is gone. And we were talking a lot about Leaf. This is a guy who's been so close to these international tournaments. I mean, a big portion of the Cloud9 squad. Wow. Since Champions 2021, has been missing by one best of three to these global remaining. tournaments yeah. over and over. And his form on the defense, you remember how often he was just getting pushed and put in these impossible situations. Now he has the opportunity to have that go button himself. Really core cool hover wall set up here. Oh, the tab Orb cascade well. short and then the long wall through B and that allowed Taco to tuck in and get a kill. I mean, it's a good idea with the orb. It's kind of nice. You can lurk through it, do exactly that, but leave by himself goes in the back of that. Why is there not two people walking there? So that's at least tradable. That cascade is going to be a little late though, but the reckoning will not. But there's so much disarray on the site. They still have octagon control and they've got to deal with Jake. Meanwhile, Zepp is finding a massive opener. Taco cleaning him up. So many more in front of him and he finds none. Drop the Seekers too, along with the Neural Theft and the Seekers trying to find King. Yeah. They're going to flip it. They're out. And the Cypher's still up, so these trips are here. Nosworth does have a satchel, but he does trip the... Yeah, he's tagged by one of them. King's going to be rotating through Defender Spawn. Nosworth ahead of it, looking to push the pace on his Elsus. The cam and the bullets from Zelsus were just too much. <laughs> and now King stares down in a position to try to do something in a 1v3 where Zep is weak. But... I mean, the, the finances are okay. This, again, it reminds me of the conversation we were having earlier, an, an opportunity, a position for Levitan to try to deal some financial damage. But not keen on, maybe the fear is giving Celsius the ult again. Yeah. And I mean, in, in moments like this, when you're three rounds away from going to the grand finals, any ult cycles from Cloud9 is something you want to avoid. I do, I do want to be careful, though, for Levitan here, because I think there are two approaches that you can have on this. You can play not to lose, or you can play to win, right? And for Levitan, given that their their DNA, their genetic makeup for the majority of the split has been one of of, uh, of hesitation, of rigidity, of, of perhaps, yeah. you know, more structure 
it's easy to revert to, we've gotten this far, let's play to not lose. And that can be all the difference here. Brings back that conversation you're having about the coaches and their conversation, how owners trying to bring that rallying cry. Wait, They're pushing flash, this time. Oh! The ult! And it's a misfire, but shy with the trade. And no punish either. Secrets are going to allow him some space to breathe. There's another. A crazy play off of the right barrier dropping. Such a quick exchange of blows between the two. It seemed like Cloud9 had firm control, but that counter punch from Shy was filthy. Think back to his performance on Haven, that 32 bomb. Just crazy. And Mazzino's joined him. They're walking. Another contact play. Both sides. But Mazzino's going to drop. And he gets away. I thought for sure he was going to be punished. No, no speed there from Zelsa Saruni. Meanwhile, Taco's going to be rotating through spawn. He has an op. And he's given himself actually so much room to drop out right as Shy comes through. There's a molly at his feet, but the cascade. Oh. Rooney taking a little bit of damage. Mazzino's going to push it. Mazzino's going to push it! Three for the controller and ten for Leviathan. And now eleven off of the side of this defuse. And you think back to that decision too. For King not to push the kill yeah. in that last round. Zelsus would have had his ult before. Oh, uh, that situation went down. Instead, he gets it off of the spike tap. Or the spike plant. And we're now two rounds away from the Vietnam. Looking at the eco right now for Cloud9. It is not looking great. And you're expecting a timeout here, surely, right? On the side of Cloud9, you call something. Do you just let it go? Looks yeah, like it. I guess he does. Let's make some chaos. This is crazy. Here's a, again the double satchel for Leaf. He has ult as well. He can punish. But remember how hard this guy absolutely slapped last time. Yeah. Left Jake alone in bathroom by the TP. And Taco's got his op online now. They spot it with the cam. A lot of util use right here for Livia Thun. Cloud9's gotten in position to actually execute onto the safe side. What's the hit though? Is it Leaf? Is it the showstopper? Anyway, you take a look at King, he's just gone exploring. Yeah, I mean, they've got a four person stack here because of that. He can't get through those trips. He's got to wait for the Cypher to go down or just break him. Can't wait the entire round. But he's getting so much information. That, is, that information's gonna help too. That nade is deep, here's the ult. No satchels, no fire. Leviathan have held them back completely. I mean, they're on the precipice of doing the unthinkable. One round away. And Fade is a cruel, cruel mistress for Cloud9 to once again find themselves so close, yet so far. And you hear it from the crowd, uno mas. That's all it takes for Leviathan. The reckoning for Mazzino, who's 24 and 10, Jeez. by the way. The last couple of rounds from him have been fantastic. Leviathan are trying right now to make this LCQ a LATAM affair. When at Tokyo, it was the first time we didn't see a LATAM team. There's another one for Taco. An eruption of cheers from the crowd as they're one step closer. Here. Second shot rattling off, not connecting, but Lee feeling pressure. They know where he is. He's spammed. He's done. Only three now. Two stingers and a guardian. Now we're having to give the space back. That's another one. Rooney and Zelsis, all that are left. The spike in hand, they're all on site. There's the reckoning invested. Rooney.